So you will not require our assistance. Is that correct? Very well. In that case, there is nothing more to be said. As for your presence here, this room is ordinarily only accessible to those bound by a contract. You are fated to refine your power. You will most definitely require our assistance, eventually. Until we meet again, farewell. <laughs> most intriguing. Are you certain about this? Our domain is indivisible from the destiny of our guests. Nothing meaningless happens in this room. Which can only mean that the fate of our visitor just now will be... Margaret? Pardon. I spoke out of turn. We are only allowed to watch over and assist those guests who are bound by the terms of the contract. Indeed. <laughs> so... The young man Yu Narukami is tied to our recent guest's fate. I wonder what fate, or rather, encounter will await him. Yu Narukami. Now that's a guest who never ceases to amaze. <laughs>
What was it that started it all? Midnight Channel again, I guess. I thought I was dreaming for a good chunk of it, so it's not really hitting me. I thought the culprit was jealous of my popularity and tried to break us friends up. Mm hmm. But that wasn't it. Their goal was to disrupt our hearts by making us fight each other and then steal our personas after they return to being shadows. Now Toe said as much, too. I don't know. Turning them back to shadows and stealing them. That doesn't sound like something just anyone could pull off. Maybe not. But we know for certain that the culprit was using that method to try and gather powerful shadows. Gathering shadows, huh? That's definitely not something any normal person would do. things inside the TV. Still the same. It should go back to normal eventually, but the P1 Grand Prix had such an effect that it's still noisy there. Oh, but... But what? Quit mumbling and just spit it out. It's hard to say for sure, but I sense these weird presences. They feel kind of like shadows, but not really. Weird presences? You mean, there's something strange in there? Um, I don't really know. What could it be? The culprit, maybe? Maybe, but maybe not. That makes sense. The culprit wasn't a persona user, right? Hmm. He did say that he used Labras because he couldn't enter the TV world himself. So, 
Wouldn't that mean this weird thing Ted's talking about can't be our bad guy? Or maybe the culprit can shove people into a TV even though he's not a Persona user. There's one more thing that bothers me. What is it? It's something Naoto said. So much we don't know. But no matter what the culprit was trying to do, if he was after us in the TV world, I doubt this case will wrap itself up. Mm hmm I agree. Oh, then does that mean... <laughs> Too bad for Mitsuru-san, but we're gonna ignore her request not to get involved. Ah, so the investigation team's back in business. Yep. Feel a little bad doing this to Mitsuru-san, but we can't just leave this be. We can fight too. And heck, this is our town, so it's practically our duty to do this. I'm in too. After all, I am Lavi-chan's knight. Plus, I can't sit on the sidelines after seeing what this culprit did to my world. It had gotten so peaceful thanks to you guys. So it's decided. Mm-hmm. We have to return the favor of getting stuck with those strange epithets, too. whose discarded womanhood stuff all about? I could swear people cross the street now when they see me. Really? I was actually pretty impressed. Huh? Is that how you think of me, Yuka? No, that's not what I meant. That reminds me. You seem to like that Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel nickname. Did he? Sensei, have you awakened to a new name? Should I call you Kingpin from now on? has turned out to be some golden week. And after you took the time to come see us, too. No kidding. Shit got stirred up the day you came back. Someone planned it that way. That actually does still bother me a bit. What do you mean? Oh, uh... I guess the timing? It's like whoever did this was waiting for you to come back. Well, I guess there's no need to think about that now. Oh yeah, where's Marie-chan? She's elusive as always. It looked like she was buying something at Sozai Daigaku the other day. What? Nobody told Emi-chan that Sensei was visiting? Well, it is Marie-chan we're talking about. I'm sure she's noticed that Yukun's back. Then, uh, why hasn't she shown up? I mean, if she knew that Senpai's back, you'd think she'd be the first to show. Ah! What the? Where'd that lightning come from all of a sudden? Oh, 
Look at those insane rain clouds. It's gonna start pouring soon for sure. Jeez, the weather report has been way off the mark lately. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Hello? Ah, oh, Kaseza. That reminds me, Labrys is a robot, right? Would she rust if she got caught out in the rain? Nah, I doubt it. The Kirijo group developed her after all, and they wouldn't be that cheap. Michan's group sure is amazing. Her stuff is way better than Juness brand electronics. Shut up! And don't go dissing your own employer! Labrys is with Mitsuru-san and her friends, right? I wonder how she's doing. Don't worry, I'm sure she's doing fine. If all goes well, we'll see her again in no time. such a worry ward. <laughs> hey, looks like Yukiko Senpai's off the phone. Oh, welcome back, Yukiko. What was the call about? It was the end. It seems a group of our guests is still out. We didn't have any umbrellas ready for them, so I think a lot of them will come back drenched. Sorry, I have to go back for a bit. Oh, right. I forgot this is a busy time for the Amagi Inn, too. Actually, shouldn't we be heading home ourselves? If this keeps up, I bet it'll keep raining into the night. Raining, huh? That thing's not gonna come on again, is it? Case, let's meet up again tomorrow to check up on the TV world. Okay, I'll see you all here tomorrow. And I'll make sure to let Risechan know too. I'll call up Naoto kun Though I don't know yet if she'll be able to make it. Cool deal. Well, see you guys tomorrow. What do you think, Yosuke? about the timing of all of this. Hmm? Oh, that. I don't know, I might be overthinking this, but... If the culprit happens to know you, would that give some hint of who it might be? Is it possible that it could be a dachi? A dachi son? be him. He has a persona. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. I wasn't trying to weird you out.
my parent visiting day, so I made sure to raise my hand to answer all the teacher's questions. <laughs> Nicole, you told that story three times already. No, I didn't. driving around town? Yeah, I heard about that. A big stretch limo in a sleepy little town like ours. I'll tell you one thing. It won't be from around here. So, what are you up to this time? The day you were due back, a detective from the Metropolitan Police Department suddenly rang me up to ask about the details of that case. Not only that, but I saw that Shiragani kid at the station several times these past couple of days. Was this all just a coincidence? That's... Uh... Can't answer, huh? Well, that's fine. <sighs> Look, I trust you, but this is different. Don't stick your head into the lion's den. You do understand that I'm a detective and pretty much your guardian while you're here, right? So long as you understand that, then do whatever you want. There's nothing to worry about. Um, I'll always be on your side, okay? Make up your mind, you. The strong win, while the weak disappear. Tonight, we will witness the hottest battles in all history. The goddess of victory is waiting to descend upon the ring! P1 fans, are you ready? Are you ready? Time to let loose an all-out war! The 
contestants in the previous P1 Grand Prix have returned for another tournament, right on the heels of the last one. These warriors will create another legend here at the world shattering P1 ring! These are battles of honor, battles of will, sparks will fly! Some fight for pride, some fight for glory! Will this be decided by pure muscle, or will a battle of wits determine the outcome? Things are heating up! Tonight, who will win the title of champion? Who will be crowned with the winner's wreath? Whose tale of glory will resound for generations? All that remains are the dreams of the warriors. As the Grand Prix plunges into its final chapter, the P1 Climax is... Barely getting started! going on here? What in the world? The town of Red Fog? What the? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! All you P1 crazies out there, sorry about the long wait. one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! I'll, I'll make, make myself clear so that no one misunderstands. misunderstands. This, this will, will not be, be taking place within the TV world. world. It will, in fact, take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Alrighty then! Time to show off how that special stage is going! Is that Mitsuru-san? <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Then again, if we don't have a champion, everyone's a goner anyway. So she'll be in good company. Best of luck to all of you. Is that? Nanako, Dojima san.
Juness Food Court. I see. In other words, nothing suspicious is apparent in the current Kirijo group. Correct. There are no factors that would necessitate detouring Mitsuru Kirijo or the shadow operatives which she leads. Mitsuru Kirijo seemed to have some idea who stole her cargo, yes? She did indeed. To begin with, the culprit knew the contents of the cargo which even Miss Kirijo herself did not fully understand. It follows that the culprit in this case was someone with intimate knowledge of the Kirijo group's dark secrets. How Mitsuru Kirijo deals with this culprit will surely shed more light upon her true motives. Report to us again when you find out more. Whether I find out more or not, it's certain that something will happen. Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory, an organization specializing in research upon shadows. Hmm. Flood of shadows and the manifestation of personas. There are many similarities to what we experienced. The 
chief difference is that their catastrophe was artificially induced in the name of research. I hesitate to look into such matters without their consent, but I doubt they would volunteer much. Shuji Akutsuki took the position of chairman at Gekko Khan High after Ergo Research was disbanded. But Surasan went there. Deceased in 2009. Cause of death. Falling from the school's observatory. Was it suicide? No listed family. It may be best if I check inside of the TV world once more. It's a bit late to call them. Which reminds me, I think I heard thunder earlier. Could it have rained? Call at this hour? From an unknown number. Hello. I got through. Miss Detective? Uh, wait, no. Now Tokun, right? That voice. Is that you, Labrys? What's the matter? Listen up, because we got a big problem. Mitsura-san and the others were on their way to Inaba, but they've gone missing. Missing? So we were gonna go look for them, but these weird guys came barging into the Shadow Operative's lab. I'm the only one who got out. Labras, calm down. Can you describe anything unique about the people who invaded your headquarters? Unique? Um, they came in a big group, they wore suits, they showed this paper-looking thing, uh, and they said something about an investigation. I understand. What's your present situation? I can't go back to the lab, right? Even if I could, I wouldn't know what to do without Mitsuru-san around. But then I found out the Shadow Operatives got these special folks who only get called up in emergencies. I just met up with them a minute ago, and we're about to go look for Mitsuru-san and them. Understood. I'll cooperate as well. I'm sure the others won't say no either. We'll all try searching for Mitsuru-san. Really? Thanks! Labrys, there's something else I'd like to ask. Why was Mitsuru-san headed for Inaba? If I remember right, they found a weird shadow reading over there, so they were gonna go look into it. 
a weird shadow reading. spiked all of a sudden. Did something happen over there? Hmm. Nothing springs to mind. Oh, sorry. Hold on a moment. I'm sorry, but let's continue this on the move. We should meet up at the very least. Actually... Is that a helicopter I hear in the background? Yeah, I'm surprised you can tell. We have a maid piloting one right now. Hmm. Let me think of a place where a helicopter could land around here. A blackout. Labrys? Fog?
gotten a lot later than we expected. Are you still okay on time? You didn't have to give me a lift, you know. I'd have been fine. That's not the issue. Come on, I'm your manager. Still, I had no idea that the boss was putting together such a detailed plan for your comeback. Well, I'm grateful and all, but I just don't think I'm ready yet. That's not true. We've all seen how hard you've been working. You're much stronger than you were. I think the boss is making the right decision. Are you just flattering me, Inoue-san? Never intentionally. You sang that new song we gave you today after just a short lesson. You even memorized the dance steps in record time. I got distracted by the steps and kept going off key. And I wasn't hitting the turns cleanly. I've still got a long way to go. Risei-chan, did something happen? Huh? I know that there's a part of your life you won't let me into, and that's okay. An idol doesn't need to tell her manager everything. But there's a difference between keeping things private and isolating yourself. Mm. You asked if you could get some days off during the long holiday, right? And you didn't seem too keen on today's session either. Did you have some other engagement in mind? No, you're just cutting me too much slack. Thanks, though. It's nothing to do with work. There was something that made me realize how powerless I am. You say, Chan? I'm okay. Were you worried I'd quit again? I'm still set on getting back into showbiz, once I shake off the rest from my hiatus. <laughs> I can tell that much from watching you practice. Still, maybe you need a breather. Huh? The publisher consulted me about maybe rescheduling the photo shoot. When I told them doing it later would be problematic since you're still a student, they decided to reschedule for another time. So, take a nice break tomorrow. No, my son. But things will be busy after the long holiday. The success of your comeback project is on the line here. I really appreciate it. Can you let me off at Okina Station today? If I have tomorrow off, I want to stop by the studio and practice a little more. Huh? But wouldn't it be late by the time you're done? Why don't I take you straight home? There's not enough room at home. Please? I'll go straight home after I practice a little. Well, all right. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Actually, though, you shouldn't coddle me so much either. Okay, Inoue-san? A long holiday, huh? Kun had to work during the holidays too. Hmm? Oh, it's from Yukiko Senpai. Junis, it's 6 a.m.? That's early. I bet some of those guys are gonna be late for sure.
can barely face Senpai and the others. The next stop is Yasuo Inaba. Yasuo Inaba. A blackout? What is that? Inaba's that way. No way. What's going on? All oh, right, my cell. It's broken? Of all the times. Guys, you senpai. Inside the TV. Damn it, it's not turning on. The street lights are all out, too. What in the world's going on here? There's no one around! Am I gonna be all alone with Yosuke for the rest of my life? Why couldn't I be stuck with a beautiful lady? I could say the same thing about you. Anyways, we need to get to Juness right now. Let's go! Hmm? We're going to Juness? Such devotion to your company in a crisis. That's not why we're going, moron. Someone from the team's bound to be there now. Whenever anything happened, we always met up there. So if we can't get in contact with anyone, that's the first place to go, right? Oh, I see. Then Sensei, Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, and even Kanji are probably on their way right now! Uh, actually, I could imagine Kanji going straight into the TV world instead. Still, what was up with that midnight channel earlier? I've never heard of it starting before midnight. What's up with the countdown? This isn't New Year's Eve. It's a good thing we were in front of the TV. If we missed it, the world could have ended without us even knowing. Dude, don't even say stuff like that. Was that video for real? I doubt Mitsuo-san's bunch would get caught that easily. Crucifying a lady like that is unforgivable! Yosuke, let's hurry and meet up with everyone so we can go rescue Michan! Right. You're really fired up about this, aren't you? And then, and then, I'm gonna get a thank you kiss from the lovely ladies. That's what you're after. How much of a horn dog can one bear be? Huh? Don't you like Michan's amazing bod too, Yosuke? Well, who wouldn't be interested? Hey, where are you going with this? <laughs> Don't stop! 
fall so suddenly? I don't have bear brakes, you know. Hey, is this fog getting thicker? Yikes! Can't you cover your mouth when you sneeze? It's gotten into you. My nose got itchy all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Just hurry up and wipe your nose. By the way, Yosuke, what now? I hope it's just my imagination, but was this road always this long? Huh? Yosuke? What now? I've been having this bad feeling all this time. Can I share this scary feeling with you too? What's with the creepy build-up? Just hurry up and say it. Um, we're outside the TV world right now, right? But this place smells the same. The same as where? Well, um, the same as inside the TV. Huh? Seriously? Uh-huh! Look! My bare nose is itching up a storm! Your nose? That's right! Does that mean you can tell where everyone is? I can kind of tell, but this fog is so thick that it's... Achoo! God, don't turn towards me when you're sneezing! You're sure that's not just allergies? How rude! I don't have any allergies! My nose has been feeling so itchy that it Yeah, yeah, what a reliable nose you have. Damn it, I gotta find everyone somehow. With the town all messed up, even that might be impossible. Sensors are picking up something! You still haven't told me what... Huh? Is someone coming? Sorry about the wait. You? How did you get here? Yosuke! Hold on a sec! Huh? Not now, Teddy. I'm glad you're safe, you. Of course. So you're with Teddy after all. Huh? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, you're acting kind of strange. What's going on? <laughs> what worthless vermin who can't survive without huddling together. Huh? Strong, shadowy stink! What? <laughs> it's too late. Now, bring on the rain. Whoa! What the?
Teddy, are you okay? Ugh. Huh? You really don't learn, do you, Yosuke? This is the P1, so obviously the rule is that only the winner can move on! It's about to begin! The first battle of the P1 Climax! Is everyone ready? You again? Yosuke, the fake Teddy's back! You're General Teddy? Seriously? But you were just Labrys's... What are you talking about? You're such a grown ranger, Yosuke! It doesn't matter who I am! Continue this idle speculation. And you'll lose your life rather quickly. There's only one thing that happens in the P1. So hurry and draw your weapon, Yosuke. What are you saying? You seem a lot like you. I can't tell if you're being tricked or not. Ah, Yosuke. There's no need to worry. What you're looking at now isn't Sensei. It's a complete fake that I made. So now that there's no need to hold back, go fight it! Think? That's right! What really draws in the crowds at a fighting tournament are chaotic, intense, neck-and-neck -neck battles! So the great General Teddy went to the trouble of ginning up shadows to settle things with you guys! A fake? You're pretty well made. Of course I am. I was born from your data. My skills are the same. In fact, you are superior. Or are you incapable of doing anything without your friends, Captain Asante? Oh, you just had to take a jab at my painful memories, didn't you? But I get it now. Since I know you're a fake, there's no need to hold back. You'll regret acting all game like that. Persona. What in the world? How did a fake sensei summon a real persona? Whoa, for real? Teddy, if this seriously is a P1, then we won't be able to go on unless I win. With what's happened to the town, this is no time for hesitating. I'm gonna take a chance and go for it. Get 
charge! Keep rushing up! Come on! Persona! You're right! I'm gonna beat him to a point! Sheesh! You're right! Get it! I'm gonna win at this rate! I'm gonna fight him! Well, fake you, are you- Ah, whoa! wasn't the real you. Though this is kind of a gross way to prove it. a shadow, not Sensei, right? Yeah, seems like. The real you, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't melt into goo like that. Hmm, that's true, but, uh, what is it? You're being really cagey today. Uh, Labichan's kidnapper said he wanted to steal our personas and make them into shadows, right? Do you think Sensei's persona got stolen and became that thing you fought? Like hell that would happen! Wait, it wouldn't, right? It, don't ask me, I asked you first! Anyway, we gotta hurry and find the others. This whole thing is making me more and more nervous. And man, suddenly I can use my persona in the real world? What's happening to this town? Huh? What's up? I smell the real sensei! And from the other direction, I'm sniffing... Oh, it's Yuki-chan! Really? Can you smell the other guys, too? Uh, no, just those two. Actually, this might not be good. I sense shadows real close to both of them. What? Damn it. Oh well, we're gonna have to split up. We need to make sure everyone's safe first. After that, we can meet up at Juness. I'm sure you won't get lost with that nose of yours. Alrighty then. In that case, it's time to fully open up my bare nostrils. Rawr! Wait for me, Yuki-chan! Your teddy is coming for you! Hey, hey, wait! You didn't tell me where you is! Rawr! Yuki-chan! Damn it, you perverted bear! You are so getting a pay cut for this! Just you wait, Yuki 
Chan. I'm coming. Huh? It's the same sign again. A dead end this time. What's going on here? Here he comes. I'm sensing Yuki Chan for sure. Huh? There's something else nearby, too. Tell that there's two. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Could it be someone's fake? This isn't good. <laughs> uh. My nose just won't listen. I need work. Where I am anymore. I wonder if Yosuke managed to find Sensei. What are you acting like a lost kid for, you idiot? <laughs> ah, it's a ghost! <laughs> you look so spineless. It is none other than I, General Teddy. Where's your salute? <laughs> it's that shameless imposter again. Seriously, what a burden you are! If you keep dawdling around, the world will go kablooey! You can try to nudge me along all you want, but I'm not fooled! You're an imposter after my good name! Oh, what a rude bear, saying such things after I try to be kind. Well then, I'll, I'll tell you something, something especially good. good. It does not matter whether I'm real or an imposter. Have you forgotten? You are the same as me. Nothing but a mere shadow. True? I mean, I was just an ordinary nobody bear at first. But I met Sensei and everyone else and changed! I'm the one, the only Teddy! Sensei said so! Hmm. Then, then tell, tell me this. What would you be if you didn't have your friends? Huh? If you are unable to be yourself until recognized by another, what are you truly? That's... <laughs> Don't worry. It's not only you. All the worthless refuse living in this world is the same. That is the extent of the self. It is a squalid concept espoused by weaklings who cannot see themselves save through comparison to others. You lick each other's wounds, finding peace by herding together. Deep in this rotted intimacy, you avert your eyes from the truth. Th that's not how it is! I just want to be with my friends! They're not averting their eyes either! Regardless, I will kill you slowly and return you and your persona back to shadows. Now, bring on the ring! What's the matter? Scared? Well then, how about a wager? 
Whoever wins is the real one. <laughs> like I let that happen. There's no way I can lose this. I'll do whatever it takes to prove I'm the one and only Teddy in the world. Final. Always this tiring? I feel more pooped than usual. An ego. I, I thought, thought it could, could be suitable, suitable for my scheme, but it seems I'll, I'll have to use the other instead. Come on, what are you staring at? Your friends are already headed to the school. Why aren't you on your way to meet them? Grr! You don't get to boss me around! And what's up with you? You did all this to the town. You keep telling us where we're supposed to go. If you're the enemy, then why aren't you acting more evil? Yeesh! What a noisy bear. Your complaint doesn't make any sense either. Anyway, just hurry up and come to the high school. We're gonna settle the score once and for all there. Wait! standing where Sensei's high school should be! And what's that red fog swirling around? I think I smell... danger from it! If the others are headed to the school, then I need to get to Yuki-chan. I'm sure Sensei and the rest can handle everything over there. Rah! Wait for me, Yuki-chan! Your adorable teddy is rushing to you at once! Ah, welcome to the Velvet Room.
Did I startle you? No, but... I have business with you today, so I've summoned you. Marie? Sorry, I asked her to do this. There's something I have to do right now. What happened? I can't really tell you because of the rules of this room, but you've noticed, right? Something terrible is about to happen to this town. I'll do my best to stop it, but that won't even come close to being enough. So, you might end up in danger again. Because of this. Leave it to me. I'll protect this town from whatever's coming. Marie, are you okay? You stupid goody-goody womanizing lame-o! Just hurry and get out of here! <laughs> it seems you still have a lot to learn. You may have noticed, but your precious town faces an even greater threat than before. Someone is attempting to merge Inaba with the other world, which you once called the Midnight Channel. What? Fortunately, Marie's powers are currently protecting the townspeople. But that will not last long. What do you mean? A town that's become a labyrinth choked by fog and silence. Inaba exists in a unique time right now. Only Persona users, who have accepted their suppressed egos, are able to freely move about through the evil red fog. But at this rate, the fog will thicken, and those who cannot use such powers will be swallowed into this world. So that's what General Teddy meant by within the hour. <laughs> this will be the third ordeal thrust upon you. Or perhaps it is the continuation of the second. Will you overcome it with aplomb this time as well? Go. You can do this. And... As for the culprit in this case... It's odd. I passed by here earlier, too. Margaret called this a continuation of what happened the other day. Thank you. 
This is Juness. Why is it here? Yosuke. Yosuke, wait! Yo, it's you! Well, I had a feeling someone would show up. That's what I was thinking, too. Are you alone? Where's Teddy? Teddy? Oh, that useless ball of fur? <laughs> Are you really Yosuke? Who cares? Either way, you're done for. Plus, take a look at that. What is that? Don't tell me. You understand the rules now? That's where you're headed. If you want to save your precious friends. And this world. Persona. Persona and two Yosuke's don't be fooled. That's a fake me Don't, don't get, get in, in my way, way. Persona This guy's not me or my shadow. It's a fake that was made with a chunk of a shadow. A chunk of a shadow? General Teddy set this up. He supposedly made these things to force us to fight. Thing is, we can summon our personas here too. We have to beat them all and move on. Yosuke, are you alright? <laughs> to be honest, I'm exhausted. But if this is more of the P1, then we can't let ourselves lose. Oh, so you notice know too. The culprit behind Labrys' kidnapping is doing this as well. Right. I don't know what they're after, but let's defeat this thing and keep going. <laughs> Morons! You the still don't get it, do you? You're both going down here. Don't act so tough. You might be a copy of me, but there's no way you can beat you and me at the same time. <laughs> Two against one, huh? We're we'll being all fair and square, but I see you'd rather play dirty. You sleep further and you can't do anything unless you're huddled together. You're completely forgetting the rules. The P1 Climax is supposed to be all one-on-one -on -one battles. Am I going to take on two of you at once? No. Bring on the ring!
Whoa! What is this? Come on! First come, first serve! Oh, and I guess I'll tell you something else. Ignoring me and trying to run ahead will get you nowhere. Like I said before, if you want to stop the world from ending, you've got no choice but to head to Yasugami High. Now, though, you're already in the room. Those red pillars create invisible walls. And there's no way to get rid of them but to win one on one. In other words, the only way you can save your world is for one of you to defeat me. Damn it. Invisible walls again? What are we gonna do? Can we trust anything he's saying? when it's not against your friends? You already know it's a fake! You! Yes, yes, it's the lovely General Teddy! I've been watching all this time, and what am I seeing? I poured my heart into making fakes who look exactly like you! All to set up a good fight! What more do you want? Can it! With all that fair and square stuff you were saying, were we somehow not supposed to think something's going on with all this? Yosuke, how cruel! I just want to feel your fighting spirit! Though, well, this is fine with me, you know. At such a leisurely pace, the world really will be destroyed. Now, hurry up and fight to the death! <laughs> Oh, that bastard! Even the fake one's not half as cute as he thinks! Calm down, Yosuke. Getting flustered is exactly what they want. a chunk of a shadow. You could have trusted me at least on that part, you know. Though that doesn't make me feel better about seeing this happen so many times. Many times? Did you fight a fake version of someone else before coming here? Uh, yeah. It was, um, a fake you. Me? Huh. Are you alright? Oh, sure. I figured out pretty quick that it wasn't you. These guys aren't trying too hard to act like us. It's not like before when they were trying to upset us. But that makes it even more disturbing. They're not trying to hide and they're fighting fair. That seems really fishy in itself. Right? Well, the rule where you have to win one-on-one -on -one before moving on seems to be the same as before. But something's telling me we shouldn't believe everything they're saying either.
reminds me, is Teddy okay? Have you seen anyone else? Huh? Oh, Teddy sniffed out Yukiko with that nose of his and took off to find her. Some help that guy was. You have no idea how much trouble I had to go through to find you. Well, you showed up just in time to save me. Anyway, I'm relieved to hear Teddy's nose is working. Let's leave the others to him. We need to get to Yasugami High. There's not much time left until this supposed end of the world. Whoa, wait a sec. That fake said the same thing, but why Yasugami High? I don't know why, but it looks like that's where we have to go. See? Is that Yasugami High? What's happened to it? We'll have to go there and find out. Tsuru san and her friends are probably there too. Damn it, everything's going according to their plan, huh? Yeah, but we have to do this. I'll be counting on your help, Yosuke. <sighs> What's the matter? Nah, you're right. It's not that there's nothing we can do without each other. It's that with each other, we can do anything. Sorry, guess I wasn't thinking straight. Let's go, partner! Again? How much more are they going to bring up those painful memories? Whoa! Holy crap! It really is on top of our school! So big. <laughs> that voice was that Yukiko? Let's hurry.
way it's out of batteries! Red fog? There's no way that would happen! What was I thinking? <laughs> Wait a sec, what's that? What's going on? General Teddy? Why are you here? I mean, you were Labrys's... Blah, blah, so nitpicky. With that level of nagging, I worry that you're already turning into an old maid, G.A. John. What? Look, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's not yuki John. It's a total freak that I made. So there's no need to worry at all. You can polarize her to your heart's content. Little, there's no need to worry at all. You took the time to make it look like Yukiko, so don't give me that crap. Oh, really? Then hurry, hurry up, up and die. Persona. Persona. Use a 
Persona? Huh? How? Huh? You, you can, can use yours too, Chie. Didn't I tell you? I can? How? I mean, this is the real world! Oh, sorry. I totally forgot to tell you. This is the P1 Climax. So I want to do these matches fair and square as equals. Which is why I've made your world the same as the one in the TV! The same? What do you think you're doing? And what's this P1 Climax thing? Ah, uh, so many questions. That's just how things are. So hurry up and give us a nice heated battle. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the gong to drag this out, so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on, lose and you're stuck here. By the way, the stupid Kimijo people are captive in the big tower right in front of you, Chie chan But never mind that. If you and your friends don't win before time's up, the world ends. Do you get it? What? The world ends? Hold up a second. What are you talking about? It's all up to what you do from here. You understand the situation now, right? Then shall we begin? Are you all right, Chie? You Kunin Yosuke? Oh, no, you don't! Whoa, hold it!
it! Calm down! We're the real ones. I'm glad you're safe, Chie. Yukun! Yeah, you sure seem like the real deal, Yukun. What about me? I mean, we've already dealt with our fakes. Huh? So you guys ran into them too? Yeah, we've defeated the fake Yosuke and myself. Is that a fake Yukiko? Seem that way. Actually, what's going on? Is this really the real world? Looks like it. Even though shadows are running around and we can use our personas. But that might as well be in the TV! What in the world's going on? Calm down, will ya? We don't know anything either. The Midnight Channel came on and General Teddy suddenly declared war on us. Afterwards, the town got swallowed up in that red fog. The Midnight Channel? Then is what happened with Labrys really not over? Don't tell me. Did you not see the Midnight Channel? Uh... <laughs> Seriously? I can't believe this. It came up so many times. Why didn't you check? No one said specifically to watch for it. All this happened suddenly while I was out walking Muku. So I don't know what's going on either. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, the town's in serious danger right now. That reminds me. General Teddy said something earlier about the world ending. Right. General Teddy says that if we don't win this tournament within the hour, the world will end. Apparently, he's holding Mitsuru-san and her friends captive in that tower. What? He is? Actually, I just noticed. Where's Yukiko? And is Kanji-kun okay? Teddy's headed over to Yukiko, and I doubt Kanji will go down that easily. We don't have any time right now. Let's leave those two to the others. We need to go rescue Mitsudu-san's group at once. Chie, believe in your friends. You can. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna believe in your friends and be the winners of the P1 climax. Is that right? Playing friends here? That's freaking lame. <laughs> my name's Sho Minazuki, and you guys are in my world now. Come on, no need to get all nervous. I came all this way to say hello. Yeah, what is this? Power is useful. Oh, right. Good evening. I'm Sho, Sho Minazuki, the culprit behind these shenanigans. Uh, you are? That's right. I'm the one that invited you here, and I'm showing myself right now. Now that I've shown you the way here, it's time for a showdown with Sho. <laughs> Get it? Bullshit. That ain't funny. Hmm? What's the matter? 
<laughs> laugh! Wasn't it funny? Come on, laugh! I guess I'll dismantle one of them. I doubt that'll matter much. Sorry, we got more guests of honor. You guys are just the ginger on the side of the sushi, so all you get to do is look for your friends in the tower. But we have plenty of fun in store for the investigation team. You'll sure look forward to it. <laughs> Damn it! What's with that guy? Is he really the culprit? We have to hurry and go after him! He's way too dangerous to leave him be! No. Teddy, Yukiko, and Kanji are still in town. If Teddy's nose is working, we may have met up already. So we're gonna leave that guy to just Teddy and Kanji? I mean, Naoto and Rise might find their way here, but... No, that show guy said they have more guests of honor now. At the very least, He's not after us for the time being. Oh. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Who are these guests of honor? When we watched the Midnight Channel, Labrys wasn't one of the captives it showed. The Shadow Operatives are Mitsudu-san's team. No one said the ones we met are the only members. If their leader is in danger, it's only natural they'd send a rescue squad. Oh, right! Also, after the thing with Labrys, Mitsudu-san mentioned something about maybe having some idea who the culprit might have been. If that culprit is the show we met, it wouldn't be strange if he already knew Mitsudu-san and her team from before he met us. So, the guests of honor he mentioned could be the other shadow operatives, come to rescue Mitsudu-san's group! That's right. The show is underestimating us. If Yukiko and the others meet up with the shadow operative backup, they won't lose easily, not even to show. We are smart! Alright, if that's the case, we should get up this tower quick and rescue Mitsuru-san's group while he's not around! Yeah. the same here as in town. The layout of the classroom is all out of whack. I wonder how long this hallway goes on for. We keep passing by the same room. That reminds me. I remember a story like that. Something about the seven mysteries of the school and a hallway that loops endlessly. Hey, cut it out!
So, do you think that show guy really is the culprit? Who knows? It's pretty suspicious that he's taking credit for all this if you ask me. Then again, he didn't seem like an ordinary guy. When his eyes gleamed red, I lost control over my muscles. Like he commanded them, don't move! If that was a type of hypnosis, it's pretty powerful. If Sho is the culprit, he could have controlled those hijackers the same way. uniform? Huh? Oh. Now that you mentioned it, it did kind of look like it. I'm sure of it. I've never seen a school uniform like that besides ours. Then does that mean Sho goes to Yasugami? What? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. Dude, don't go drawing up the culprit's whole family tree just on a hunch. I bet he's just a ghost or something like that. Maybe he has a grudge against our school? What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> hey guys! Long time no see. Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi son. Kanji-kun? What's up, Yukiko-senpai? What's up, Yukiko-senpai? Look, you bastard. Don't go bothering Yukiko-senpai. What? You're the one bothering her, you imposter! What was that? I'm the real one! Bullshit! You don't look anything like me, damn it! You little. Then try this, goddammit! Tell me exactly how old I was when I last went to bed! Oh, it was when you were in second grade, right? Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Hmm? Your mother told me once. I'm sorry, I don't have any more time to waste. Oh, I know. What if we say the one who can summon his persona is the real one? But that's impossible. It's not like we're inside the TV right now. Ha! You're giving up before even trying? You dare call yourself the real me? When you put your guts into it, summoning a persona is no big deal at all. Persona! Oh, it worked! What? Seriously? How's that, Yukiko-senpai? Now you know I'm the real one. Oh, no you don't, you bastard! If you could do it, so can I! Come on out! Persona! 
Whoa! That actually worked! Hey, what are you copying me for, damn it? What? You're the one copying me! telling which of these two is which. You just need to use the power of love to tell them apart. Huh? You can tell the difference? Of course I can! My love for you would never ever be fooled by a fake. Hmm, then can I leave this to you? Huh? Leave what to me? Ted, perfect timing! You know I'm the real one, right? Ah! A double serving of kanji? So these were the two things I was sensing near Yuki-chan! Mm-hmm. That's why I'll leave it to your love to tell them apart. Impossible! I'm completely, totally vetoing this idea! I mean, there's no love involved! The hell did you just say? You should be able to at least tell the difference, damn it! Ah! Both of those sound like things Kanji would say! So that's the limit of your love for kanji -kun. Um, can we just say that they're both fake? That's what it comes down to in the end, right? What? Why are you listening to him? Would that be bad? Of course it would! Assuming that from the start is pretty messed up! Oh, I know. Could you use your nose to figure this out, Teddy? Hmm. I wish I could, but this red fog is getting in the way! My nose is no use right now! Wait, does that mean you're a fake after all? Not at all! There's a good, complicated reason for it! Hey, Ted, just do something and tell us apart, dammit! Yeah, you moron! I'm disappointed in you! Ah, two kanjis are worse than one! Okay, Ted, stay still, concentrate, and... Got two! Whoops! My nose got stuffed up! What?! Jeez, what a useless bear! You say that, but I bet you're actually pretty relieved. What did you say? You're the one breathing easier, asshole! What was that? I'll take your punk ass down! Ooh, good idea, Yuki-chan! Well then, let's bring it on! People of Inaba, welcome! It's time for Who's the Best Inaba Resident? Huh? What the? Question number one. How many stories is Yasugami High School's classroom building? We're really doing this? It's three stories! You, you bastard! It was my turn to answer! Correct! Now, on to question number two. 
Every day is Customer Appreciation Day at the supermarket Junex. How many stories does it have? T two stories! Correct! Now for question number three. From Shiroku's store, how many buildings away is the Moel gas station? Uh, um, it's, uh, uh, four buildings. Correct! Number four. Take the sum of the numbers in the answer so far. Multiply by eight and divide that by three. What do you get? Huh? Um, uh, wait, what does that have to do with being an Inaba resident? Too easy. It's 24. Correct again! And... You're the culprit! What? How do you figure? I was right! Take 3 plus 2 plus 4, multiply that by 8, and divide by 3, and that's 24! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't get it. There's no way Kanji could do math like that. Heck, he can hardly do basic arithmetic. Therefore, you're the fake! He was even dumber than I imagined. He's so stupid that I ended up playing around. Huh? You picking a fight with me? I'm glad we figured it out, real Kanji-kun. Yeah, but come on. What kind of way was that to tell us apart? <laughs> Don't worry. No one would be shocked at this point. You making fun of me or trying to cheer me up? How long are you gonna keep this up, damn it? Just because my cover's been blown doesn't mean that's the end. It's time for the real reason I'm here! Alright! Bring on the ring! Get this full-on muscle-on-muscle battle going! I can't wait to get you in a hold! This bastard again. A full-on battle, huh? Fine! You're on! That didn't make them any less overblown. Can't we just leave these two here? Yuki-chan! Your inner thoughts are leaking out! Oh? I'm totally okay with me, you know. You could just stay here. But you can't go on unless you beat me raw. Well, that be trouble for you. Huh? Is that true, Teddy? It seems like it. When those red pillars glow, it makes these invisible walls, just like the last P1 Grand Prix. That's right! Until someone takes me to heaven, none of you are going anywhere. I'll do it then. I need a refresher. Whoa, hold it! That's my shadow. I can deal with my own crap. I'm gonna pass! It's too early for me to step into that world! Huh? Damn it, Teddy! I told you that's not how I am! Jeez. Well, then let's decide with rock, paper, scissors. That's fair, right?
satisfied with this amazing session. Cause it's too late now. You've totally fallen for our plan! What the hell? No way! Kanji couldn't melted! Uh, Yukiko Senpai, that's the fake. Wait, does this mean that wasn't my shadow? I seriously thought that part of me was coming back for more. Oh, nope. General Teddy made that fake by kneading up a chunk of a shadow. Seriously? Then all we had to do from the start was beat the crap out of it! That's not my fault. You two were the ones getting all up in each other's faces. Hey, Teddy. Could that General Teddy be the culprit after all? Wouldn't that make him the one behind Labrys' problems, too? Um, I don't really know about that. Who is that General Teddy, anyway? All I know is that he's an imposter of mine. Huh? If you don't know, then there's no way we'd know. But if he can do this to our town, then he's not an ordinary person. You got that right. Didn't they say he brainwashed the hijackers when Labrys got kidnapped? One other thing I noticed. It happened to me too, but when Yuki-chan and Kanji were fighting the fakes, tons of these shiny things were flying out. What do you mean, shiny things? Oh, I think I know. That's what we saw when the fake Kanji-kun was melting too, right? Yep, you got it. That stuff never used to come out when we fought. What could it be? Hmm, good question. Also, how should I put this? It seems like fighting in this fog is tiring everyone out faster than usual. Huh? Yeah, now that you mention it. It's like when we would go into the TV world without Teddy's glasses. Huh? That reminds me. We haven't tested out the glasses. If you need them, I have some right here. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's true that I can't see very far, but I can still see where I'm going. And the exhaustion comes more when the fighting ends, not during the battle. So, what does that mean? When those shiny things come out after a fight, we get really tired? Jeez, you really are stupid, aren't you, Kanji? The shiny things and getting tired are two separate things! So what then? This is all because you suck at explaining shit! Senpai. Has Yuki-chan lost it? You're right. Sorry. This is I say I know I know I remember he said that when the shiny things come out you get tired right I thought that actually could be the case huh I don't really get it what do you mean well could it be that that's what the culprit is really after he's making us fight getting those shiny things to come out and uh, uh, what would he want with them no 
totally had us going, Yuki-chan! So, you didn't figure out the important part? Uh, is his goal just to make us tired? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, what could this all mean? I, I wish I could concentrate and think, but this fog is just so... <laughs> ah, gross, Ted! Sorry, it's just that this red fog keeps violently irritating my nose. Oh! Huh? What is it? I did notice something about those shiny thingies. Really? Mm-hmm. Those shiny thingies have all been flying towards Sensei in your school on the hill. When I fought General Teddy earlier, he told me to head to the school, too. Something smells fishy about that place. So what's the deal? If you knew something, why didn't you spit it out before? Well, let's go there. If the others noticed it, too, I'm sure they're on their way already. Teddy, can you lead the way? Leave it to me! You two, follow me! Blair Chu! becomes a labyrinth as the clock strikes midnight. It's just like the dark hour described in those documents. No one's here yet. I'd have thought someone would have come straight to Juness. Calm down. If I start worrying, there'll be no end to it. Still, it may be best to try not to breathe it in to the extent I can avoid it. Huh? Now, Tokun? Chie-senpai, is that you? Hmm? Uh-huh. Why? Thank goodness you're safe. What about the others? How should I know? They've got nothing to do with me. My senses seem untampered with. From which I take it that you are not Chie-senpai. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Little old me? I see. So you make no effort to hide your true nature. And what are your intentions? Are you? Rather, is the culprit who created you the same one who sees Labrys? Or is it an accomplice of his? <laughs> you really are sharp, aren't you? 
you now, Dracoon. But who cares about any of that? Persona! Seems the circumstances are different from before. What sort of scheme is unfolding now? Uh oh! Salty Bat's supposed to be the detective's job. If you don't hurry and get ready, you'll get yourself hurt. So you have no intention of providing answers. Very well. Ooh! Now that's our now job! It's so convenient for us that you catch on quick. Is that... General Teddy? You understand without me having to explain, right? Thanks for participating in the P1 Climax! Now then, on to now John's first round. Obviously this is a serious battle with nowhere to run! Oh, uh, by the way, Big John and the others you're looking for were smushed and captured by me, General Teddy! In other words, if you keep winning in the tournament, you might be able to save them! Persona 2 now, Tokim. Well, well then, bring on the ring! Seems I haven't time to waste, so I won't bother holding back. Persona! Great! That's the now I know! That means an even more fun crushing you! I wouldn't be so certain. You can never win against me. Finally! As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. This is a setup. Huh? 
What is that? hill where Yasugami High is? The orbs of light are gathering there. culprit of this case intending to... No! I must ask that you not needlessly inquire further. Now is not yet the time. <laughs> Naoto Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. here. This is exactly like the TV world. But if that's true, then... Persona! I knew it! I can use my persona. I don't know what's going on, but I might be able to find everyone. I'm really no use after all. I don't have the power to fight. I can't even give proper backup. No good to anyone. What? It's a bird? It's a plane? No, it's Elizabeth! Please excuse my raucous entrance. If I recall correctly, you are everyone's reset, the announcer of the P1 Grand Prix, no? That wasn't really me. 
Wait, who are you? I am Elizabeth, the wandering elevator attendant who has presently totally abandoned her duties. I once presided over a certain power in a certain room, but for opaque reasons I am brilliantly, brilliantly, no, currently, on a wandering journey. You presided over power? Okay. Greatestly, exactly. Um, it feels odd to bring this up, but it was okay for you to abandon your duties? Oh? Can you explain the question? I guess I kind of abandoned my duties once, too. I ran away from where I was. But now that I'm trying to make a comeback, it's been really tough. This news of a comeback concert isn't grabbing me, either. A concert, you say? I know of such things. It is a mysterious ritual that only chosen ones can perform. Within the flood of sound that tempts me, the crowd repeats a chaotic dance to their heart's content, eventually achieving a state of rapture. Uh, it's not like that. By the way, Miss Rosette, are you sure that you should be reposing in a place like this? Huh? I have been observing this town state for some time now, and it seems this red fog has completely enveloped it. If left as is... I do believe that matters will take a turn in an unfavorable direction for you and your friends. What? Elizabeth, do you know something? Is you, Senpai? Is everyone okay? My, why are you asking me? When it comes to searching for your friends, I recall your power being uniquely suited to the task. I can't find anything in all this fog. It's no use. I see. In other words, you are grieving for your powerlessness, electing to stand here without attempting to search for your friends on your own. <sighs> what a disappointing turn of events. I have no interest in such a dull person. Please excuse me. Elizabeth! Hmm? What seems to be the matter? I have already lost interest in... No, I just wanted to thank you. I'll try doing what I can. Oh! What a horrific change of heart! Or is that heroic? Either way, it seems you have realized the potential that slumbers within you. Truly impressive. But if you were to encounter a shadow right now, your current strength would not be sufficient to fully beat the snot out of it. Huh? Which is why I have the sudden urge to test whether your resolve is truly sincere. Wait, what are you... Please, do not waste your breath as I come at you. Your fate is in the cards. will not miss again. I hope you are prepared. Persona! No way! My persona?! <laughs> I'm starting to grow excited. I must say it's been rather a long time since I last felt this exhilarated. I am going to do this. <laughs> Thank you.
out I'd made my decision. I'm going to stay and protect everyone. Now, show me the transformation of the potential within you. Burn it into my memory. Finally! It's time to be judged. The lover. I will show you. Impressive. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. There's no touching. Oops. From this moment, persona card. God of death. Then it helps. Seven won't lose. Now I can back this up. Oh no. Oh no. shown me the power of mankind's potential. Um, why did you help me out? Help you? Hmm, I didn't even have the shiniest intention of helping you. But I didn't know that my persona could do that stuff. Isn't that why you helped me? I see. That was not my intention at all. But if you say so, then I'm starting to get the sense that it may be true. In which case, it would only be natural to demand worthy compensation for such assistance. Huh? Wait, are you asking me for money? Or perhaps your soul? Whoa, definitely not! A ticket to your comeback concert would do as well. Oh, I could probably swing that. Hmm, no. I believe I shall ask for this world's future instead. That's pretty vague. Either way, it is decided. Struggle between solitude and bonds. The two great potentials of mankind is about to begin. I have no intention of assisting either side, but neither can I dismiss the contest as irrelevant to me. You lost me there. But what you're talking about is why this town got messed up, right? Indeed. Whether your bonds will win the day, or whether that young man's solitude will emerge victorious. I am massively intrigued as to how this struggle will end. A young man. Whoa, are you talking about the culprit behind this? Dear me, I've accidentally slipped up. In any case, please look over there. Your friends are already headed that way. What will you do, Miss Rosette? I'll go too, so I can fight with them. A perfect answer. I give you a gold star. Well then, I bid you good luck, Miss Rosette. Dodged. Such a struggle you put up. You're wasting my time. Who are you? I am Minazuki. Sure. 
control me, Natsuki. I am the one who will destroy you, the Kirijo fools, and this world. Uh, so, you're the ones who captured Mitsuru-san and... Yes, I caught them off guard, just as I did with you here. It seems you're not very perceptive. Though your intuition is impressive, for you to discern our plan after only one battle. It's an absurd scheme. What are you trying to summon with that tower? in itself is not my objective. All I want is to grant a wish. A wish? Whose? There's no need for you to know. You kidnapped Lavers and attempted to collect our personas before. But that's not the case this time. You're using Mitsuru-san and her team as hostages, and you've prepared fake versions of us to fight. <clears throat> There's only one reason why you'd create such elaborate imitations of us, even to the point of summoning personas, and have them challenge us. You set this entire scenario up so that we wouldn't think twice about fighting. By forcing you to fight in this fog, I am carving off bits of your personas. Carving off our personas? I've said too much. It seems our guests of honor have arrived. I enjoyed my time with you. If the opportunity arises again, I'd like to speak with you for a for you, Shadow Operatives.
soon lose it. However... Yukari-san, he's winding up for another one! We're getting off, Koromaru! Hurry! But now that we're here, you don't get to do whatever you want anymore. Now to Shiragani, right? Are you all okay? We'll handle this. I'm trusting now, Takum, with you. Gotcha! You don't have to worry about a thing now. So you're our enemy. You won't escape now. The players have finally gathered. It's nice to meet you. I am Inazuki. Show me Nazuki. Welcome to this world. I wanted to meet you all, especially Kirijo. You are the ones who killed his father, after all. What's he talking about? Who knows? I don't really care, either. I have no intention of fighting you now. I only wished to see your faces. Take your time. Don't get the wrong idea. I'll be your What the? What's going on? Another now tokun? Don't be deceived. That's an imitation of me. An imitation? Huh? That sounds like the kind of dirty trick they pull. Huh. Seems I'll be facing those who are participating in the Grand Prix for the first time. I hate to win this time, so let's simply begin now. Bring on the Prix! Everyone, get away from me! Hurry! Yukari-san, Koromaru, spread out!
What's going on? Wait, what the? Where's the culprit? What? Wait, when did he? Sony user Teddy? He doesn't look like a bear to me. He just looks like a plush mascot. Is he dressed up like that on purpose? Oh. You there! Silence in the peanut gallery! How dare you call my bona fides into question? I'll have you know I look bear-ripping! Crap, he heard me. This is your last chance to push your luck like that. Chon and now Chon aren't getting out of here until you win a one-on-one -on -one fight! So, are you okay with that? Are you gonna move on without your friends? Hurry up and decide whether you're gonna enter the ring or not! Will you shut up? Fine, let's do this. I'll go in and... No, please move on! Huh? You can't let him provoke you. The culprit's aim is to make us fight against our doubles, thereby carving off our personas. Carve off our personas? Mitsurasan and the others are within the tower on the hill. It won't be easy, but try and avoid combat with the imitations as you rescue them. Okay, Labrys, we're leaving the rest to you. <laughs> oh, what's, what's this? They left you behind. I guess that's the extent of this friendship you go on about. That's not true. What about it is not true? For it seems to me that the others moved off, leaving me to move. You clearly have no understanding of the bonds between people. Yeah, what she said. They didn't ditch us. Yukari-san believes in me, so that's why she trusted me to take care of Natoko. That's why I'm gonna make sure to knock you out of the park myself. Finally! You have a strong heart. <laughs> oh, oh, no! No! that we'd win. What a fantastic battle! We must have gathered a good many Persona fragments just from that alone. <laughs>
Was it okay, Naltokun? We ended up fighting this thing. There was no getting around it. Our enemy has Mitsurasan, her friends, and this town hostage. Besides, we had no means of escape. So, everything was set up perfect. Who do you think that Minazuki guy is? I don't know, but... <sighs> now, Tokun! Thank you, Labrys. You truly saved my life. Come on, no need to thank me. I told you it was my turn to help you guys out. But what about Yukun and them? Just like I thought. Though that fake you was a tough customer. What in the world are they? The imitations seem to be crafted from shadows. I'm astonished that they can even copy our persona abilities. But that aside, let's hurry, Labrys. There's actually something I couldn't tell you, Kari-san, earlier. Huh? What's that? It's that young man Minazuki's true objective. He's gathering persona fragments from us in an attempt to summon something hideous. Something hideous? Indeed. We used the tower looming on the hill, just as Tartarus was used when Mitsuru-san and her friends were in high school. I don't know what in particular he intends to bring forth, but there's no denying that his aim is something along those lines. Really? Oh yeah, I actually felt something odd about that guy myself. Odd? In what way? Well, when I got close to him, I felt something strange. It was exactly like the feeling I get from those plumes of dust we have as cores. Oh. Does this mean he had a plume of dust in his possession? Not exactly. It wasn't that he had one on him. It was more like it was synced up with his heart. It felt just like ours do. Synced with his heart? fight earlier, right? Yukari-san and Kenkun can really kick some ass. It seems you've made some wonderful friends, Labrys. Huh? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you think it's okay for me to think of them that way? It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's how it is at the start. Once you come to realize it, though, you'll find that it turns to a warm feeling within you. Huh. Is that how it was for you, Naotokun? Who knows? Perhaps it was. Let's go rendezvous with the others.
No way. Why is it dodgy, son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Not fake? Oh, right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here, huh? Oh, <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved. But someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. Like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on, aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are! You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Adachi san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh man, I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town, I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? Dutch, you lousy! Whoa, whoa, give me a break! I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here, because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly, rats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. <coughs> huh? Uh? Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much longer, longer are you gonna, gonna make me wait? wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Special ring. This place is truly a square jungle. It sure brings back memories. It really takes me back. Master? Oh, I'm glad that you're safe. <laughs> Hey, 
Nico son. Don't you all long for the tensing of muscles and the clenching of fists? It's only seconds away. Step forward if you want to see some action. Finally! Let's end this. Thousand die while a million. Is over. All right, we won. Wait, where did Adachi go? Yeah, looks like we don't have much time. Hey, hey, hold on a sec. Adachi said something about Persona Fragments earlier. What did he mean? Last time, Sho tried to get powerful shadows by shaking us up so our Personas would turn back to their original form. And this time, he's lured us into this red fog and made us fight our fakes, so we can carve off Persona Fragments in the process. Oh, you mean those balls of light that pop out when we fight against the fakes? Probably, yeah. Sho is trying to do something with the Persona Fragments he's collecting. But what, though? Is he gonna make a new Persona for himself with them? I don't know. But all the Persona Fragments I saw so far were headed to the top of this tower. We might find our answers there. are too long. How far do they go? You'd think we'd have gotten to the stairs by now at least. Maybe just running down the hallways won't work. Why don't we try going into the first open room we see? I mean, this place was connected in some messed up ways during the last P1 Grand Prix. You do have a point. But there's tons of classrooms here. Should we just start with the closest one? Whoa, bingo! Still don't like this plan. We're gonna have to check every door we find from here on out. Don't worry, you can do it, Yosuke. Yeah, we'll be okay if we got Yosuke with us. What's with the blind trust in me? I don't remember you guys being such goody goodies. What are you doing, Yosuke? Come on, you better hurry up. Why isn't anyone listening to me? Don't you think it's weird that you're about to leave me behind after saying all that nice stuff? You already know. Yeah, I'm a 
big levels. So, let's see how much you're gonna put some iron and carve off, okay? Oh, you're going too far! What are you trying to do with all these persona fragments? <laughs> what do you care? When I lose, you're all gonna die anyways. I got nothing to tell you. Now, bring on the ring! Just need to hurry on ahead. We're out of time. Yeah! Still, it's so frustrating! Hey, something just crossed my mind. Personas were originally our shadows, right? Hmm? What's this all about? No, oh, I was thinking about what the culprit's after. I wondered why he'd be so hell-bent on our personas. Huh? Well, think about it. There's a bunch of shadows in the TV world. So why is he so fixated on our personas? Good question. targeting our personas in particular. Some reason why it can't be just any old shadows?
your school always this big? I think I'm done for. Look, my legs are turning into twigs. They were twigs to begin with. Quit your whining and get moving. Uh, I know. This big, I'd be late for class every day. That's what you're worried about? Man, how the hell is this place hooked up? Oh, could we try opening up a window and climb up the walls? <laughs> ah! What are you thinking? Yuki-chan, that's against the rules! showing its face again. If you don't give up now, you're gonna get more than just a beating. What are you talking about, you moron? I'm the one who wants to punish you. Shouldn't you all be trying harder than this? Don't you understand the situation you're in? If you don't hurry, the world really is going to end. Yet you keep dallying around and wandering all over. None of you have any guts, I say. Shut up! You want to end the world or not? Which is it? If you didn't want us to get lost, you should have made us a straight path, damn it! That would defeat the purpose of the P1 Climax! It's only natural for the bad guys to be me. <laughs> Fine. Now hear this! I, General Teddy, I'm gonna give you a warning because I'm so tear-jerkingly nice! Open up those tiny ears! If you don't hurry up at once, the lives of the captive princesses will be in danger soon! What? John? What was that for? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Looking at that teddy made me angry for some reason. How tyrannical! A bear on screen and adorable little moi are totally unrelated! Adorable little moi is totally unrelated! Grr, don't copy me! Don't copy me! <laughs> Looks like we better hurry and find Mitsuru-san and rescue her gang, too. You're right. We should focus on that before we head higher up. All righty, then. Time to open up my bare nose once again. Wait. Huh? <laughs> Why do you keep turning our way when you sneeze? Uh, it's no use. The red fog's been so thick ever since we got into this building. My nose isn't working at all! Try harder, Teddy! Well, if Yuki-chan gave me a big fat kiss, I think I could try harder. Enough of this bullshit! Hurry up and put that nose of yours to work! M -m my nose is very delicate! Searching through this fog makes my sneezing unstoppable! Don't worry, Teddy. I have lots of tissues. Yuki-chan, are you doing that on purpose? I don't need tissues! I need smooches! You can do this, right, Teddy? <laughs> Pay me no mind! Teddy knows full on searching! Something, but what? Oh, here we go! 
I smell something like Michon and her friends from over there! Oops. Bastard guy! You got your snot all over me! You're doing this on purpose, huh? Hey, Pops! You the goddamn culprit? Pops? You mean me? Shh, shh. Youngins these days are so rude. Huh? Is he really the culprit in this? He seems a little flaky. Trash talking to me already, huh? I'm the lethal weapon of the Shadow Owl. Jupe Oh, so you're a fake? We don't actually know the real one, so how shocked should we act at learning you're the fake? No two ways about it. He's a dumbass. Hold it right there! The real Junpei Iori, at your service! Huh? Dark! Oh, he fell on it! He's not yeah, moving at all! I guess he's out cold! Of your damn mumbling! I'll crush you like an egg, so let's get to it! Mm-hmm. We need to make him take responsibility for doing such a horrible thing to Akihiko-san. I don't really care about Aki, but I never forgive an evildoer! Wow, they're totally pissed. Good thing the rule savers have to be one-on-one. -on -one. All right, youngins. Feel free to come at
In your face, damn it! <laughs> Junpei Iori at your service! Ah. Do you think he's okay? In any sense, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Akihiko-san, are you okay, Akihiko-san? Damn it, who did this to you? Um, you're one of the shadow operatives, right, Junpei-san? Huh? Yeah, I am, but what do you guys know about that? Hey, weren't you using Personas too? That's how Akihiko-san got caught. I'm still kind of fuzzy on this stuff about the TV world and whatnot, but I think I get the gist of it. Oh, right. I never introduced myself properly. I'm Junpei Iori. People call me the Shadow Operative's lethal weapon. Thanks for sticking up for Akihiko-san earlier. Uh... I'm Yukiko Amagi, a third year at Yasugami High. What's up? I'm Kanji Tatsumi, the second year. And, uh, who's this Blue Daruma doll? Who are you calling a Blue Daruma doll? I'm an Adora Bear! Adora Bear? Oh, is that one of the monsters that shows up in Featherman? Ah, how rude! How could you not know how popular I am, you sweaty bearded batter? Oh, what's with all the ruckus? I'm trying to sleep here. Happy Nicholson! He's alive! He wouldn't come around. I was getting worried, man. Relax. I was just taking a nap to get back some of the energy they stole. But hey, it's been a while, Junpei. Were you the only one they called out? Uh, actually, I was more of a lone samurai. I got a call from Yucatan, but my phone ran out of juice during the call. <sighs> when I got here, something weird had happened to the town. I thought everyone was headed for this Tartarus-looking tower, so I came to check it out. Oh, a Yucatan should be with Ken, Koromaru, and this Labrys girl, who I guess is Igus's sister. I never met her, though. Even Ken got called up? Oh, man, I'm ashamed of myself. But why did you come to Inaba? Did you find out something about Labrys' case? Well, we heard that the Shadow Presence had ramped up in Inaba. We were headed here to look into why that happened. But while we were on our way, our car got ambushed and... Well, you know the rest. Damn it. That culprit's one sick bastard. How dare he torture you! Huh? They didn't torture me or anything. They didn't? But you're wounded all over, and your clothes are all ripped up. Your clothes? What about my clothes? Uh... 
<sighs> what are you saying, Junpei? Aki always looks like... God damn it, Ted! Shut your damn mouth! Huh? Oh, I get it. Yeah, uh, never mind, Akihiko-san. Uh, sorry for talking weird like that. Oh, that reminds me, though. This feels like that other thing we know all too well. Is it just me? So, you notice too. I mean, it's like, this is the Dark Hour, right? Dark Hour? What's that? Basically, the Dark Hour is a hidden time that ordinary people don't know about. We fought once to get rid of it. But that used to only last about an hour every night. What's happening to this town doesn't seem so simple. That reminds me, General Teddy mentioned something like that. <laughs> the P1 Climax! It's the end of the world! One-on-one -on -one deathmatch that's worthy of the name Climax! And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! That's not good. We have to meet up with Mitsuru and the others as soon as possible. You haven't said a word all this time. Stop being so quiet and say something fun. Dude, you're asking too much. I've got no energy to spare for that right now. Yeah, but being quiet gets me all anxious. Don't you have anything? Some inside info on discounts at the Juness Deli? Thank you for shopping! It's always Customer Appreciation Day at Juness. Wait, just talking about me boost your spirits? Of course it does! Oh, meat! That tender juiciness makes me so... <laughs> Someone's here! <sighs> I am getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. Whoa, hold on there. There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well, right? It'd be easier to just sit back and wait. Huh? Where is this? Was there some place like this at our school? What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? Ah, ooh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. 
I can kill anyone I want if I feel like it. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? Ugh, this guy's really pissing me off. Is that show guy insane? He's laughing and joking one second, and then the next, he pulls out his swords. Are they bickering with each other? And what was that about that guy? Look, there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Uh, that's not the problem. I look at those guys, and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! <laughs> You're so lame! Such a frickin' irritating bunch! I hate to even look at you! I just wanna see you completely destroyed! Show me Nazuki. What are you planning? Huh? Weren't you listening? I'm gonna get rid of all you disgusting pests and make this a world I can stand to live in! Wh what? Don't be ridiculous! That won't help anybody but you! Yeah? So what? Of course it only helps me! I'm saying you're disgusting, so you should all just die! This isn't funny anymore! You're totally nuts! Are you saying that nothing else matters as long as you're satisfied? Uh -huh. Ah, well, duh! Friends? Bonds? You worthless pests aren't accomplishing anything but licking each other's wounds! Shitty pests in this shitty world have no goddamn call to give me their shitty lectures! I'm telling you, I'm gonna get rid of every shred of everything! You little... You really are a piece of shit that's not worth saving! You've got no right to do that! The world will be much quieter soon. Just like here. A wonderful place where there's no one else. It's all for me! What? A world with no one else? Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just hurry up and get smashed to pieces, you shitty pests! Oh, whoa, what are you getting all worked up for? You really shouldn't do that. And you shut up too, you piece of shit! Come get me! I'll beat the life out of you! You'll be begging for mercy! There's no way I'm gonna let him win! I can't believe our town is such a mess because of that guy! 
there's no way I'm sitting back and letting it happen. Ha! I'm with you. We'll show you with our own fists how strong you can be when you have something to protect. Show strong. Don't let your guard down. Finally! I tell you, this is because you kept using those weird powers. You got all puffed up because of someone else's gift. Are we fighting you next, Adachi-san? Huh? Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Why would I do something that hard? Hard? Aren't you supposed to be on show's side? Show's side? <laughs> Give me a break. Come on, isn't there someone else besides me you should be worrying about? Someone we should worry about. Oh, you mean that guy Show mentioned? Damn, so he does have an accomplice. Persona. What the hell's going on? Yukiko, how many doors are there in the music room at your school? Huh? Oh, right. There's the door we came through, and... Ah! There should be a door that leads to the prep room in the back. Alright. Junpei, look for that door. It should be around here somewhere. Huh? Uh, actually, uh, is this it? What is this? It's kind of creepy. A 
Labby-chan, are you doing okay right now? I'm really worried about you. Teddy. Stupid Kanji! What, what was that for? Toughen up, Ted. What good is it gonna do you to mope like that? <sighs> You're Lapras's buddy. She said herself that she was gonna do her best. If you don't believe in her, who will? <laughs> God damn it, don't get your runny nose on me! Ugh, you're so gross! You guys get along really well, huh? But we're running out of time. Let's get moving. Roger that. All right! I'm totally on fire! We're gonna go and kick this culprit's booty! <laughs> the blue Daruma doll's pretty pumped up. Oh, hey, there's a door over here, too. City? Why is it here in Inaba? Wait, is it that? <gasps> I guess. her with my persona. Nope, nope! I'll be the one to rescue her! I'll set Aichon free and get a kiss of thanks! Oh. <laughs> you're going nowhere. If you think that things will be that easy, you're greatly mistaken. Koromaru, too! Long time no see, Sonata-san. You should say hello, too, Koromaru. I think I'm just a child from the way I look, don't you? But let me make one thing clear. Don't underestimate. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Stay back, you guys. Ow! Akihiko-san!
You must know the rules by now. Decide who will be representing you. If possible, I'd prefer not to fight someone who's injured. It's no fun at all for me to beat up on someone who is in perfect condition now. Wow, he's not cute at all. Oh, but I guess that makes it easier to deal with him? Yuki-chan! I think your Snow Black side's showing itself a little! Hey, little punk! What gives bringing the mutt into a one-on-one -on -one fight? Huh? Oh, this thing? Don't worry about it. I should, I should get a handicap, hand right? I mean, since I'm just a child. Yeah, you little... guys really are fakes, right? There's no chance that they're real? Huh? No, that's not possible. Oh, but the fake ones disappear as soon as they're defeated. Huh? That is weird. But all I'm getting with my nose is the smell of a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you three. Don't let your guard down. It's not, son. It's too late now.
honestly, aren't you supposed to be the adults here? You let your guard down much too soon. Hmm, several of you I don't think I've met before. I'm the real Kenamata, and this is Koromaru. Oh, you're the real Kenkun. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and you too, Koromaru-san. Watching you was pretty nerve-wracking. Do you understand what you were doing? It's unbelievable not paying attention during a fight. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, too. Th this kid's even brattier than the fake. <laughs> You've stepped up your game, Ken. That was an impressive strike. It's good to see you again, Sonata-san. As you can see, Koromaru's been well, too. <laughs> I've heard about you all from Labra's son. A real talking costume, huh? I'm not a costume. I'm an all-natural, totally adorable raw bear! What the hell's a raw bear? Look, look, I'll let you touch it a little bit. Wanna feel my fur? Uh, that, that's all right. I, I'm not interested. Still, it's amazing to see a dog use a persona. Come here, Chosokabe. Please don't call Koromaru by that weird name. He's not sure how to react. Sorry to cut this short, but we have to move, Ken. How's the situation? We met up with Naruto-san on a rooftop somewhere, and Labra should be on the move with her as we speak. Yukari-san and I avoided fighting there and left. We split up to search for Mitsuru-san. I can't say that it's going well. So Naruto-kun and Labra's are okay. Thank goodness. Abby chats you too? <laughs> when I see her, I want to give her a big, fluffy bear hug! Fluffy, you say? <clears throat> hey, that reminds me. Where's Junpei? Huh? I can't believe I forgot! I have to rescue Aichan! Thank you for rescuing me, everyone. And... Ken-san, Koromaru-san, it's been a while. Aiga-san, I'm so glad that you're safe. <laughs> yes, Koromaru-san. Junpei-san climbed the bridge and rescued me. I'm a guy who gets things done when it comes down to it. <laughs> is that so? Looks to me like Aigis is the one helping you out, Junpei. After Junpei-san destroyed the cross I was bound to, he slipped and fell off the bridge. So I rescued him. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's really been a day for me falling off of things. Ah, so that's why you're in that position. You haven't changed at all, Junpei-san. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Junpei-san is the disgraced detective as always. Uh, I don't think that's an actual detective. Either way, I'm glad you're safe. Looks like Yukari and Labras are here too. So let's go save Mitsuru and Fuka and get this over with. Hey, you guys. Yeah. What? What's up? Hurry up and get ready. We're leaving in a few. Hmm? Now, you weren't gonna stay put, right? Then come with us. Roger that. Are you sure? Mitsuru-san told us to. Isn't it a little late for that? 
And since Mitsuru and Fuka aren't around right now, we need Teddy Teddy's help. Come on, you're in at this time. You might as well see it through. I'm starting to get fired up! Leave it to me, I'll sniff bitch on out! How very reliable. So Akihiko-san's Aki and Mitsuru-senpai is Mitchan, huh? This bear Daruma really isn't scared of anything, is he? All right, my nose is gonna shine. Huh? I smell something gathering up there. What's this? Dude, this again? He said up there, though. Could he mean the rooftop after all? You know, when I rescued Igus earlier, I saw these giant stairs going up on the other side of the bridge. That's it! Good job, Junpei! I'm gonna rescue Mitchon and get rewarded with a kiss! Still a carefree bunch, aren't they? Just don't blame me if you end up getting executed. Like the TV world. P1 Climax? So someone's holding one of those events in the real world? Persona! Focus on! Rise, son. That's. Uh, 
focus on. Take it easy. Please move aside. I need to free her. Then that makes us enemies. I hope you're prepared, showbiz fiend. I better paint shall strike you down. Risei san, please run. You have to get help. You're not, not running, running away? away. <laughs> then, then we may as well, well get started. Bring on the ring! <laughs> He's in quite at last. Are you ready? Persona! Ready? And action! Persona! Hey, are you sure you should be here? Why not leave this stuff to us and do your thing from the same distance? Isn't that all an idol is good for? You look like a mascot and a member of the team, so you really should be out on the front. <sighs> I won't let you beat me! Finally! Disappeared. Focus on, are you all right? Mm hmm. Thank you, Risei san. So you can fight with your persona now? That's amazing. Oh, that's right, Yukari-chan. Risei-san, 
She needs your help more than I do. She guarded me and... You mean that lady in pink? Okay, one sec. Son here saved me. I'm sorry for what you went through because of me. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry I worried you too. I got caught totally off guard. Um, Risei san? Thanks. Whoa, wait! Are you the real Rosette? You're so thin! And look at how small your face is! Oh, yeah. Um, I still don't really understand what's going on here. You dress like that, Yukari-chan. It looks really well made. Huh? You're just noticing this now? Well, there's something of a story behind it. I've worn costumes from time to time too, but that one's pretty cool. It's pink and cute. Maybe I should try wearing it in a show. Transformation activate! Feather change! <laughs> or something like that. What a pro. You're pretty focused on work, aren't you? Say, didn't I hear that you're making a comeback? It must be tough to balance with school and whatnot. Homework and idol work. <laughs> you could say that again. But I don't mind so much, since I have fun with all of it. That's so cool! High school girls sure are spirited. I envy your youth. <laughs> you work hard too, you know, Yukari-chan. Nah, I just do some modeling here and there. It just so happened I got the feather pink roll in an audition. You're a model? Wait, and you're the real Feather Pink? Wow, that's incredible! I'm so jealous of how great you look! Do you have to watch what you eat too? Oh, of course! Oh, speaking of food, I found this great place that serves delicious lunch specials the other day. Wait, no, now's not the time to talk about that stuff. Try searching around here. Fukasan, will you help me out? Mm hmm, of course. I'm all right now. Exactly where, but I sense someone nearby. It seems your friends are here as well, Risei san. Senpai's here? Great! I knew they'd get here! 
Fuka, can you tell where everyone is? I still think we should meet up with them. It might be hard by myself, but... Persona. I found you, Senpai! And Yosuke-senpai and Chie-senpai? Yikes, who's this? It's not Teddy. I sense a familiar presence near Aikas and Akihiko-senpai. I think they'll be okay. Let's see where Mitsudu-senpai is. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. That startled me, though. It came from further up. From the top? What could it be? Yosuke! Chie! Such trouble you've caused. Thanks to you, I'm forced to show myself. Who are you? I'm Shonazuki. We are Shonazuki. See, so there are two personalities within you. You have a split personality. No way! Seriously? That isn't strictly correct. I awakened within this child. And I exist to grant his wish. That's why I'm using that thing. That thing? This child's heart was warped due to great suffering at the hands of men. I must eradicate all that lives to win back peace for him. What will it do to make the world that way? Humans can't live on their own. That's your perspective. He's unlike you, though, and requires help from no one. Are you that scared of a world with no allies? Wrong. People grow by living together with others. That's how they're able to better themselves. As I said, that's your perspective. Sam, you have no more friends to save you. Seeing as none of them are rushing in, your other friends must have fallen somewhere along the line. You're on the brink of death. What use would you be? Actually, perhaps you are a hindrance to begin with. Isn't that right, Narukami? Since you seem more accomplished than you. What? Why not catch? 
cast them aside. Then you'll be able to fight freely. Or are you unable to fight properly without these bonds you speak of? <laughs> your weakness is propped up by others, as is the rest of yours. Protecting your wounded comrades will result in your death. Persona! Persona! <laughs> Yukun! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadow wasn't enough. Don't move. Get away from Yukun, or I won't show any mercy. No need for this Brionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Nalukami first? <laughs> Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. No. Why are you here? What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. Hey, hold it! You truly love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there are enough Persona Fragments now. I have no need to deal with you anymore. What is this? Uh, my... my legs... Uh, this again? Too much. And now it's not a 
time to hold back. He's gone already. Hey, not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that breath. Don't you think it's a little late? He said he has all the Persona Fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing, and then jam the fragments he's gathered into... That might have hurt! What was that for? You speak to your face. Should I deal with you instead? Whoa! No way! Where'd you get that idea? Alright then. I did try to warn you. In any case, let's sort the situation out. Sho is conspiring with the other Minazuki, and they enveloped this town in red fog. They then set things up so that we would fight our fakes here. When Persona users fight inside the red fog, their Persona is carved off into fragments, which are being harvested at the top of this tower. So the whole time, this P1 Climax was just to gather our Persona Fragments, right? Right. Then Sho and Minazuki are planning on using the gathered Persona Fragments on whatever it is they're summoning with this tower. But what's Sho gone through so much fuss to summon? How they intend to use the Persona Fragments on this summoned entity, and what effects it'll have, remain to be seen. Yeah, 
Minazuki said he was going to eradicate all living things by summoning this beam. We can't let that happen. Minazuki's trying to fix it so no one else but Sho exists anymore, right? That's pretty serious. If that's what he's up to, we don't have much time left. We gotta hurry and stop him! Oh, hold on a sec. Um, there's something I was wondering about. Huh? What is it? Yeah. Um, that Minazuki guy told you he didn't have a split personality, right, Yuko? Yeah, I definitely heard him say that. And, um, that's what made me think that maybe there's a plume of dust stuck in him. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I told Naoto Kun this before, but the plume of dust has to do with creating Igises in my heart, right? When I met Minazaki, the plume of dust inside me resonated, like when I first met Igis. So if Sho doesn't have split personality, but that Minazaki was a personality that showed up later, it got me wondering. Huh? But how? Why? No, it's possible. Thinking about it, Mitsuru-san suspected that Labrys' kidnapper had ties to the Kirijo group. I looked into it as well, but during the reign of Koetsu Kirijo, Mitsuru-san's grandfather, a CEO of the Kirijo group, they performed many inhumane experiments, which led to the various shadow-related crises that Mitsuru-san's group continues to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if Sho was a victim of one of the experiments from that time. So... Are you saying Sho had one of those plume thingies stuck into him as an experiment? According to my theory, yes. Seriously? Either way, we must hurry on. If we can rescue Mitsuru-san, she may be able to tell us more. We're at the end. There's a door. This is the door to the rooftop, right? I'm going to open it. Where is this? It's not part of Yasogami High. That much is certain. I've never seen this area before. Hey! Over there! <gasps> is that... Mitsuru-san? Sister. You ain't Igis. You're a fake too.
Indeed, I am a fake, sister. But is the distinction necessary for us? What? We are weapons forged in the shape of humans. Aren't we all fakes from the start? Blah. Thanks. Of humans. Have, have you forgotten? forgotten? We, we have, have no comrades. comrades. You, you even fought and killed your sister, you Snow. snow. <laughs> Damn it! Labrys, don't listen to her! It's okay, Yosuke. What? But... Labrys will be alright. What's, What's wrong, wrong, sister? sister? Do, do you not, not hate humans? humans? Yeah. I do hate humans. Then? But not like how you mean it. Sister? As much as I got a grudge against humans, it was humans that saved me. Yeah, the ones who made me did horrible things to me. To all the ones of my model. But hating all humans because of them is wrong. I like you, Kuma, and Mitsuru-san, and all the rest of them. It ain't right for you to destroy the world they all live in. How unfortunate. I would have thought that you could understand my master. Show me Natsuki's desire for solitude. His... solitude? Don't waste your breath. I will see you die here, sister. Naoto, I'm counting on you. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Naoto-kun! Great move, Naoto! You really helped, Naoto-kun. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense. Let's make ourselves clear. As long as we're around, we won't allow you to so much as lay a finger on Labrys. I don't know what kind of solitude you or your creator is suffering, but we don't lightly forgive anyone who hurts our friends. Then there is nothing more to discuss. Releasing limiters, switching to battle mode, annihilating targets! Finally!
Mitsuru-san! Where am I? Labrys, you came. Mitsuru-san, are you alright? Yes. But aren't you all a bit too close? I'm so glad. I'm sorry I'm late. Jeez, look how beat up you are! Thank you, Labrys. Narukami, I thank you and your friends as well. But first, I must apologize. I said I would guarantee your security, but see how that turned out. We had almost identified the culprit, but... <laughs> what are you saying? You don't have to apologize now, nobody cares! Show me Nazuki, huh? How ironic that he would mimic his father's actions. I see. Shuji Akutsuki was his... The Kirijo group once had a branch specializing in shadow research. It was the Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory, Ergo Research for short. My grandfather, Koetsu Kirijo, provided Ergo Research with a vast budget to perform various experiments over many years. Experiments like Labrys and Igus, anti-shadow suppression weapons with humanoid bodies that harbor personas. As well as countless inhumane experiments, such as creating artificial persona users through suppressants. Show Minazuki. His name was recorded in the Ergo Research Archives as the youngest test subject. Shuji Ikutsuki was the researcher of record. Afterwards, Ergo Research was dissolved in an explosive accident, burying their research. In the confusion, Ikutsuki saved some of it. And that included Sho Minazuki. Yes, there's more to the story, but I've confirmed this much in what we've deciphered thus far of Ikutsuki's personnel file. Shominazuki seems to have been Akutsuki's favorite test subject. Test subject? But he's a person! How could he do such a horrible thing? The Kirijo group of the time was an evil place, suffused with his arrogance. It isn't hard to imagine how he was treated with Akutsuki in charge. Minazuki was raised in a solitary environment, never interacting with anyone. I suspect... His experiences from that time greatly affected the development of Minazuki's current personality. Mitsuru-san, these experiments they did on show, were they really related to the Plume of Dusk? That's correct. The central thrust of the experiment was to embed a Plume of Dusk into Minazuki. No way! So that's what the Minazuki personality is? Um, can I ask you something? Do you have any details about whatever it is he's trying to summon? No, I know nothing about that. But if it's similar to what we encountered at Tartarus, it's 
nothing welcome. That was only to be expected, since Sho's desire is to destroy the world. Senpai, I finally got a hold of you! I'm so glad you're safe! Rise, you're all right. Mitsuru Senpai, are you okay? I was worried, you know. Is that you, Yukari? You came. I'm sorry, but no. Thank you. You're always such a help to me. <laughs> I'm fine too. Kikuno-san has evacuated to safety as well. Yamagishi, thank goodness. It seems I've also put you in danger. and the others. The senpai, Teddy and I guess are safe too. Just a sec, I'll put you in contact with them. Yay! Yukiko? Is that you? I'm so glad! Mm-hmm. Kanjikun and Teddy are fine too. What about you, Chie? Are you hurt? Hey, I got a few scratches, but it's no big deal. Huh? Are you sure you're okay? Yo, Senpai! Sorry we're late. <laughs> Sensei! Damn it, Teddy, I told you to quit rubbing your runny nose on me! You came to rescue us. Thank you. I'm all right. I guess. Whew. I was really worried about you. Man, it's getting crowded here. You guys really know who's who? You're the only one who doesn't, Junpei-san. Though there are a few I haven't personally met yet either. <laughs> it seems everyone's all right. You have the devil's luck. Don't let your guard down yet. The battle isn't over. Mitsuru-san. I'd like to talk to you about Sho. You wish to save him yourself. Is that what you were about to say? Uh huh? <laughs> it's written all over your face. It would hardly be a surprise to hear you say it. There are many things to sympathize with regarding Minazuki's past. He too is a victim of the Kirijo group's dark side. Still, that does not give him license to endanger the world or hurt people. It doesn't change the fact that he is an enemy who must be defeated. Yet, you still wish to save him, correct? Yes. Either way, 
things must be settled with Minazaki. We should brace ourselves. Right, we can't lose this one. Getting stronger? Huh? This is. Careful, everyone! It stinks of shadows! What? This can't be! What's wrong, Kujikawa? It's shadows! Countless shadows are gathering at this tower! What? I'm picking up shadow readings! 20, 30, they keep coming! We can't stop them! The shadows are passing through here. It looks like they're heading to the top of the tower. Wait. What's wrong, Risei? this? The shadows that were already at the top are merging together! <laughs> Say that. You're the ones closest to the top. <laughs> You're right. Mitsuru, this is no time to fool around. Leave this to us so you can get to the roof. What? What? Mitsuru Senpai, you can't lose focus. Don't worry, we're pretty tough. Yukari. All right. It's a bit lonely here, but I'll do my best for your sake, Sensei. Teddy. Go, young man. There's no time to be indecisive. The bases are loaded, so go out swinging! Jim. All three groups separate and intercept the shadows. Yamagishi, Yukari, Kujikawa. Head to the lower levels. Destroy the enemy, but take caution. Akihiko, work with those on the middle level and block as many shadows as you can. Don't bother giving chase to whatever gets past you. We'll remain here and intercept the shadows as Narukami advances to the highest point of the tower. Me? You're the least injured of us all, and considering your skill, you're the most logical choice to send. Please go, Senpai. We'll protect this place. Yeah! I'm getting psyched! Go on ahead, Kukun! Go get him, partner! Make sure you pull this off for our sake! I'm counting on you, Yukon! You can't let Sho get his way! Go put an end to this! You understand, right? You do anything reckless, and... I understand. I'll come back. If I can't do it, then I'll ask for help. No shame in leaning on your friends after all. No matter how many times I fail or make mistakes, I can do anything with them. I won't give up. Hmm. I knew someone was who I suspect about the same way. We will clear a path for Narukami. Is everyone in place? Yeah! Yes! Of course! Leave it to us. Once we get the signal, everyone attack! Here goes. One, 
<laughs> you seem surprisingly calm. Your third ordeal has arrived. Do you think you can overcome it? I see. Your mind is already made up. And that's a fitting answer for you. What is Sho trying to summon? How is he going to use the Persona Fragments? All I can do is watch over your journey. What is happening in your town must be ascertained with your own eyes. Is Marie alright? Marie is fighting desperately right now. Calamities in your town directly affect her. Your actions will decide the girl's fate. One last thing. The young man who rejects everything and wishes to destroy the world? You hold the key to his salvation. Depending on what you choose, you may be able to awaken him as an official guest. this thing is. Are you trying to ruin my plan? You ask 
asked me before. You said, don't you hate this world too? Huh? That's right. Well, you were just trash I was gonna use from the start. Once everything was ready and I cut up the rest of them, I was gonna kill you slow. Still, I at least gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was gonna let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? Finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. <laughs> sure, I'm lame. Whatever. But you don't know yet, do you? <sighs> Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Show. Oh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know, I'm not that type of person. You're such a know-it-all. It's not very attractive. People get all goody goody. I'll destroy everything! Everything! I'll, I'll, I'll destroy every. He's getting too worked up. That's a bad habit of his. You must be the other one, Minazuki. I didn't think you would put up this much of a fight. Perhaps I should have killed you back then after all. Minazuki, you said then that you did all this to grant Sho's wish. But this isn't the way to save him! And I said that's your perspective on the matter. All I'm here for is to grant this boy's wish. Do you still not get it? That's not Sho's wish! Are you delusional? I know the boy. I know of his hatred and his suffering. <laughs> his father, Shuji Ikutsuki, abandoned this boy. He used the child for his own desires and then discarded him when he was as good as dead. Shuji Ikutsuki, this is the world that abandoned him. That's why this boy came to detest everything about this world and wished for it all to disappear. No! Sho just doesn't know yet! What he's been through isn't all there is to the world! It's not too late! Silence. I know what I am. I am assured of one who brings about death. If this 
this boy wishes for the death of all, then I will use my true nature to destroy this world. Sake too. I will defeat you. Very well. Come and fight. Finally. Nazuki, why are you trying to grant Sho's wish? A foolish question. I awakened within this boy. It's only natural for me to grant his desires. You're strong. You don't realize it either. Your strength. It's founded on the strength of your bonds. <gasps> I don't know exactly what you are. Since you were born from a plume of dusk, maybe you really are a shard of one who brings about death. But no matter how you hurt or how badly you're about to fall, the power that lets you stand up for someone else comes from bonds. Impossible. I am this boy's. No one lives alone. You protected Sho and supported him all this time. You should know that by now. Chan's Minazuki kun. You're disqualified from the P1 climax. Time for you to make your exit. Kagutsuchi, you bastard. Kagutsuchi. <laughs> did you think I didn't know? Of course I did. I knew from the very beginning about your idea to use the power left inside a dachi baby to suppress me. So you deduced even that. Oh.
You, Narukami, you defeated this fool, so you're the champion of the P1 Climax! Congratulations! Your prize is your execution! <gasps> hmm? Ow! What do you think you're doing? What do you intend to do with this boy, Kagutsuchi? <laughs> what am I going to do? Isn't, Isn't it, it obvious? obvious? I'm, I'm going, going to, to kill, kill him. him! I'll grant that, that brat you're so fond of what he wants! A world of solitude! But I'll be the only one there! It will be a world all for myself, where only I exist! This body had reached its limit anyway. It's only a fate made with shadows, after all. It was never meant to support itself for long. <laughs> Fortunately, a horde of shadows to create a vessel, and persona fragments to control it have been gathered. What? Well done, my friend. It is thanks to you that everything came together so splendidly. All that's left is to fuse that rat with the shadows as a base, and then devour the Persona fragments to inhabit my new corporeal form. <laughs> <laughs> you, Narukami. I was born when this town was enshrouded in form. I have quite the connection with all of you. What? I pay no heed to others. I am the collective will of those who abandon all connections and strive to live only for themselves. I will incinerate everything. I will burn, murder, trample, and cast you humans down into the depths of despair. My name is Hino Kagutsuchi, one who kills all who live in this world. Don't worry. I won't let you die so quickly. You will live to witness my advent, and will be the first sacrifice to my power. I won't let you do this! <laughs> Your nerve astounds me, but I wouldn't be so sure. Your allies are about to be overwhelmed by the flood of shadows. You all fought so long within this red fog, just as I planned. You are exhausted to your very souls. You have no hope of defeating me now. My first puppet was quite useful for that purpose. 
I had directed it at you with the aim of harvesting your personas. But... You mean... Labyrinth! Ah, is that what you call it? Had I taken your shadows for my own, their own wills would have been even less obedient than I required. I learned that in the previous battles. Thus did I prepare this fog and my new scheme to carve away at your personas. Personas are the suppressed strength of heart. Nothing is better suited to suppress the will of shadows than that. So that's why! <laughs> <laughs> now is the time for despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. Behold it! Lend me your strength, Lyle! Kagutsuchi, that's what holds you back. The power I wield, the power we wield, it will never succumb to someone like you! Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! Persona! <laughs> Adachi-san? <sighs> what are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. out for I don't have time to waste either so let's hurry up and put it into this right It's over!
My sincere congratulations on winning the P1 Grand Prix. Elizabeth? What are you doing here? The what you just defeated now was different in form. It appeared to be another embodiment of man's consciousness that wishes for death. And suffice to say, I had my own reason to witness its end. Your own reason, huh? That is correct. Disappear momentarily. Huh? Can I ask a favor, Elizabeth? Hmm, a favor? Depending on what you ask, I'll have to demand payment. I'm not sure about that. But can you please send all my friends in this tower somewhere safe? If that is all you ask, it's as easy to grant as having an orange at a kotatsu. You've actually used a kotatsu? No, it was merely a figure of speech. I've never so much as seen a kotatsu. Nah. <sighs> Very well then, I will transport your friends to somewhere safe as you wish. Oh, where would this somewhere safe be? Ah, yes, the perfect place has occurred to me. I shall send you all there. Baby, until the day we meet again. Farewell! Well done, Narukami. I'm sorry for the trouble we caused. No, we owe you too. Thank you for stopping the shadows. Wish I could have gone to the top myself, but I'll let you take the glory this time. Thank you, Akihiko-san. world. You have to go through this TV to get out to your world, Junpei. Huh? We go through a TV to get out of the TV? Come on, Blue Daruma, quit kidding around. It's for real. But, huh, now that you mention it, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Going into a TV leads you out of the TV? Jeez, what are you making it all complicated for? It's fine. The TVs are connected. These things only get confusing because you overthink them. I don't believe this. Look, you just gotta show them.
stupid kanji? That hurt! Don't you know the saying, a head in motion tends to stay in motion? Shut up! It's your fault for rubbernecking! When I stuck my head out, I saw a security guard making the rounds! Huh? Ah! Junpei, why are you sleeping on the floor? And just when we were trying to explain things to you! Hey, wait a second! Kanji-kun, did you just say there was a guard out there? Huh? Yeah, so? Then the town's back to normal. The people who disappeared must be safe now, right? Oh, that's right! Good job, Junpei! You did great! Uh, I'm not sure what I had to do with it. All right, it finally feels like we won! We saved the town our very own selves. We did it! Show. Come at us however many times you want, but next time we'll fight one on one, fair and square. He survived. Yes. Regrettably, he is a serious criminal who tried to destroy the world. We cannot leave him be. I understand. But I won't be so stubborn this time. I ask that you all cooperate with us in capturing Minazuki. Yes, of course. Leave it to me. My persona's gotten real strong. I'll find that show in no time so Senpai can breathe easier. That reminds me. That dude was wearing our uniform. I guess we should start by beating the crap out of everyone at school? No violence yet, Kanji-kun. An investigation must be carried out based on thorough examination and confirmed evidence. Hmm? Was he wearing our uniform? I didn't notice at all. I remember Minnie's smell, too! <laughs> he can run, but he can't hide from Teddy's nose! Dude, will you stop giving everyone and everything those weird nicknames? Does your nose even work anymore? You've been sneezing this whole time! I haven't. That was because of the red fog. It was filled with a terrible curse and... Curses don't exist. Although given what Kagutsuchi was after, I suppose it did have an effect of that sort in truth. Uh, why are we so scatterbrained? Can't you guys stay on one topic for ten seconds? Oh, sheesh.
sitting here makes it feel like I'm really back. <laughs> Indeed. It seems that for now, the case is closed. Man, that guy sure gave us some grief. Wasn't the world on the brink of ending? Mm-hmm. Although, I felt a bit sorry for him. Huh? For who? You can't even figure that out? She's talking about how Sho probably didn't want to turn out that way. Yeah, he's a really clumsy kid. <laughs> I keep thinking about how similar I was, you know? According to Mitsuru-san, ever since Ikutsuki abandoned Sho, he was left for dead in the hospital's care. I surmise that is where he learned of Ikutsuki's death, and later heard this plan's proposal from Minazuki. That reminds me! That thing that showed up at the end! You know Kagutsuchi, right? What was that thing, really? Yeah. It said it was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. Hmm. And that's not all. It was all over my fuzzy head, but what was that collective will of so-and-so part about? I guess it was formed from the hearts of people who only think about themselves, never caring what happens to others. Yeah. When the fog covered this town last time, the hearts of people who only cared about their own safety gathered and formed that Hino Kagutsuchi. That's a sad way to be. I wonder why some people think like that. Well, there's nothing we can do about it except to do our best. By the way, partner. Yeah? Did you see Adachi up there? What happened to him in the end? No way! Adachi-san? That bastard was here?! Don't worry about him. He'll obey the rules. All right then, let's go home. But man, some long holiday this turned out to be. Seriously, you couldn't came to visit and we didn't get to talk at all. <sighs> oh well. But now that it's all over, I think I had fun. Ah! Yuki-chan, have you turned to violence? Mm. Thinking back on it, I did see some dangerously scary faces from you. Tay, would you like to see me angry? Ah! There! That's exactly what I'm talking about! I somewhat understand what Yukiko-senpai means. Despite the lost time, we've gathered as a group again. I'm glad for that much. Yosuke-senpai, I'm hungry. Can we go grab a bite yet? <laughs> Meat sounds great right now! You'll scale treat, of course. I'm not treating anyone! The store's not even open! Stop trying to make me treat you guys every time! <sighs> Things really haven't changed at all. Oh, Senpai, look! Let's go, everyone. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, same to you. It's not like I really did anything. I was getting my butt handed to me and you weren't around. Like, that was fun. You were keeping Dojima-san and everyone else safe, weren't you? That was a huge help. Stupid. Stupid no-tech love machine. You're being too honest with me. Stupid.
Hey, this town, um, do you like it? Huh? Yeah, I love it. G go home already! Get out of here and, and, and come back soon, jerk! Thanks for bringing my things all the way here. Don't worry about it. Man, you seem pretty busy. So, if you're headed back, does that mean things are settled? Yeah. Yes. Take some more time off the next time you come. You seem pretty lonely. <laughs> oh, Yukon! It's almost time! Well then, time to disband the investigation team for real this time. I feel a little down when you actually come out and say it like that. Yes, but disbanding means that the case has been solved. We should take pride in that, at least. Investigation team? Oh, crap! Uh, um, G.A.'s dog went missing, so... Huh? Really? If you had told me, I would have rushed to help in a jiffy! Why are you falling for that? Just stay quiet! That's not fair! I wanted to help, too! I'm sorry, Nanako. I'll be back in the summer. Whoa, for reals? You're gonna stay the whole summer, right? Oh, uh... Yay! That's more than a month! We could do anything then! Let's see, the summer festival? Going swimming in the ocean? Ooh, and the fireworks show! We wouldn't mind at all. Nanako would love to have you around. Yes! The train will be arriving shortly. Please step behind the white lines for your safety. Big bro! <laughs> I don't want you to leave. I want to play with you too. Nanako. You really didn't get to spend much time with her. Nanachan, I'll play with you. I know. Nanako chan, come over to my place. We have a dog. No, I want Big Bro. Nanako, if you keep saying such selfish things, I'll tell you a scary story before bed. more time over the summer vacation, Nanako. We can play more then. Okay. Wow, I didn't know Nanako-chan doesn't like scary stories. Yeah, if she sees a scary story on TV before bed, she can't go to the bathroom by herself. I'm the one who gets woken up in the middle of the night. Dad! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, we're through, Dad. Nanako!
break, broke, broken, uh, eat, uh, eaten. Why the hell does it keep changing like that? Break? What is it, a car? I don't even have any brothers named Ken! Oh my! Are you studying English? <laughs> it must be a cold day in hell. You, you old hag! I'm trying to study here, so quit making fun of me! My, my. He's embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you. Well, what is it? Quit bothering me. I, I just hurry up and ask already. Well, our dyes seem to be running out much faster lately. Do you know anything about that? How, how should I know? Maybe we had a, a burglar or something. Oh, my. <laughs> a burglar who only steals dyes. Like I said, how should I know? Probably just imagining it anyway. Is that so? How odd. That navy blue handkerchief I washed yesterday had an odd unevenness to its coloring. What? Like how? That handkerchief was my best work lately and... Wait. The one I washed was a white handkerchief. Ah, oh, the ravages of age. I keep misremembering things. <laughs> you, you old hag! Color just isn't the same. Giving up, god damn it! Excuse me. Whoa, you're a high school girl and a manager? That's awesome. Hey! Could you wash my back later? Sir, please don't choke like that. Well, I might consider it if you held a party here every day for the next year. Really? I'll take you up on that. Thank you for your patronage. Of course, I must ask that you pay for everything up front. <laughs> huh? Yuki-chan, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Don't worry. I'll make sure to lean on you and the others if I'm ever feeling stressed. Please help me out if that happens. 
Really? <laughs> You've gotten so dependable all of a sudden. missing a bit of tartness. Maybe I should use yogurt. Huh? It burned? That's odd. I was sure this was how the chefs did it. Yuki-chan? Um, I smell something burning. Are you okay? I'm okay. For now. You're improving as a manager. But I think your progress as a cook is still bumpy. with general ed questions first. What is this? Some kind of old manuscript? Oh, I'm in great shape at least. How come there aren't any practical skills in the primary exam? I bet Master would totally ace the written exams, too. I mean, he'd make it to the top easy. I'm gonna become a police officer, no doubt about it. If Master's at the top, I'll work my way up to his level. Do my best. I'm gonna do my best.
What do you mean? You probably believe that this investigation is about the potential dangers of the Kirijo group. But that's not the truth. It was ordered by top public safety officials who aren't keen on Mitsui Kirijo's influence. They're trying to find fault with her to rein her in. Then, were these top officials dissatisfied with my report? Oh, your report was detailed and accurate. But that was too fair for their liking. Are you asking me to report a distortion of the truth? <laughs> Don't glare like that. The officials used Kirijo's disappearance this time to order an investigation on the Shadow Operative's facility. Yes, I know about that. I'd heard from my friends. But these investigation results aren't what those at the top hoped for. If this continues, they may abandon rational judgment in their desperation. In other words, you think they would begin to suspect me as taking sides with Kirijo? Yes, but that's not what we hope to see happen. In all honesty, Enabling their power struggle has no upside for our organization at all. You're very satisfied with your work. That's why it would be less than ideal if you lost favor with the top officials and became unhirable. I understand. Though they're all part of public safety, you're saying the top officials and the on-site investigators have different views. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast. You have my permission to continue visiting this place from now on. So, I ask that you play along this once. Permission to continue? So, you leave a thread for me to follow while telling me not to get too involved. A bit self-serving, wouldn't you say? A harsh assessment. Both the inner truth and the outer veneer matter in society. That's how it is. I was only joking. I thank you for your generous consideration. There's further investigation. Seems I'm about to be very busy. All right, that must be the place. this case, I feel like I'm finally prepared to face my future. It's like I finally made a breakthrough. A breakthrough? I kept wondering if there was any way I could spend my time with everyone forever and ever. Mm -hmm. But I realized that that's just running from reality.
That's why for now I'm focused on finding a big project that won't bore me until I die. First, I'm going to go to college and expand my horizons. I guess for how long I thought about it, it's a pretty standard path. Oh, I think that's just like you, Yosuke. Isn't the long consideration really the important part? idea which ones are any good. Huh? What are you doing, Yosuke? The shelf with the nurses is over there. I'll stay over here for today, thanks. Hmm? Oh, you're looking for camouflage. Something to hide your nurses with? What? <laughs> the hell no! Should be more showy, extravagant, all out! I feel like I'm on a roll! summer swimsuit sale oh now that you mention it oh that's all you can say listen this is supposed to be a section for elegant summer clothes for the early season so why set up a swimsuit sale huh stop changing things on your own oh but sensei will come back once summer comes right my mind is already in full summer mode jumping the gun way too much don't drag our store into your shenanigans you say that, but aren't you curious too? Don't you want Yuki-chan, Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Nao-chan to wear these new swimsuits as soon as possible? Well, sure. But wait, we weren't talking about me. Oh, I know. When Sensei comes back, let's invite Mitchan and her friends to the beach. Mitsuru-san and her friends, huh? Oh, they're regular working folks. I mean, they're a special unit, so I don't think they could just... Okay, the game will end if you give up. Just imagine what they'd all look like in swimsuits. <laughs> change the fact that it's way too early for this. Hurry up and get the display how it's supposed to be. No! I will staunchly protect my paradise! Your weird paradise has no place in our store! If you don't hurry and fix this, I'm docking your pay! This is tyranny! Utter totalitarianism! Start from Act 3. Ready? Go! Look! A white bird! Could it be the same one we saw together last summer? Who cares about birds right now? If there's something you want to say, then say it! Please don't be that way. 
I trusted in you. I believed in our promise that we'd come here on this day. So why... why did you bring her? I feel like an utter fool. Risei John. Son, we're still rehearsing here. Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. Kuchikawa, it's time. You're free to go. Everyone else, take it from the top of that scene. Huh? But... Go on or they'll yell at me. The promise was we'd do this without getting in the way of your other work. Though, I mean, your acting was great. Thank you. Um, is there anything else? What do you mean, anything else? Um, anything I should work on? I just told you that your acting was great. You're rushing this too much. Well, I don't know. I guess you need to work on accepting your strengths and trying to build on them? Sure. Accept my strengths? That's right. Hey, I take back what I said. Everyone take a 30-minute breather. about Inoue-san? Oh, right. The response to your TV appearance the other day was amazing. We keep getting tons of calls with more work for you. And that's why we'd really like to set up an actual schedule and put a huge media blitz behind your comeback. No, I told you that's not what I want. I'm not even close to my peak performance yet. Huh? But, but they're all really good deals, you know? Nope. Don't you remember how we talked this over with the agency? I want to put my schoolwork first right now. Oh, can you bring the car to the front? Huh? Risei John, where are we? I have voice training after this. Come on, you're my manager. Get your act together. Oh, right. Sorry. Can you give me a ride? I want to hear about what kind of work came in. Of course. I'll bring the car around, so wait at the entrance.
This program was brought to you by the following sponsors. Impossible! What power is this? How can one human's power alone be enough to best me? Hino Kagutsuchi. That's what holds you back. The power I wield. The power we wield. We will never succumb to someone like you. Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! Persona! Adachi-san? <sighs> what are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. What are you spacing out for? I don't have time to waste either. So let's hurry up and put it into this! Right. Izanagi! Nagatsu Izanagi! Hino Kagutsuchi! The malice has been defeated, but your true battle begins here. After all that has happened, I'm eager to see what you will do. Forgive my insolence, but the fight about to transpire piques my interest. I wish to witness its outcome. <laughs> Show. Where is he? I don't know. He was trying to protect you from Kagutsuchi. I see. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. I didn't know anyone there, or even how long I'd been out. I 
care was paid up for basically forever. I had a pretty good idea where the money came from. Shuchikutsuki. Yeah. The same goddamn bastard who tampered with an orphan kid and threw him away like yesterday's garbage when I blacked out. That lab was everything to me. I did everything I could when I was a kid. I was happy to see that rotten bastard smile. Show. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, all that was left for me when I woke up was a shit ton of money and a world I never knew. You get it, right? All I know is fighting. I don't have a damn clue how to live in this world. I left the hospital and went out into the world. Yeah, that's right. Into your Inaba. What? You were in Inaba? Yeah, and it sucked. It was so boring I thought I was gonna die. That's when the murder case broke on that foggy day. Don't tell me. That's right. I saw it all. I saw what you did, what you fought against, and how you solved the case. It was fun. It got my blood pumping. I got the scent of battle. And I thought you were just like me. Then right when that case was just about closed, that thing spoke to me. It asked if I wanted to destroy the world. You're talking about Kagetsuchi? Yeah. And Nazuki came up with the plan. And I went with it. And then... You know the rest. Joe, don't be afraid to bond with people. <laughs> You're like Labras, someone who was made to fight, so that's all they know. But she's one of our good friends now. Still. <laughs> Still, the only way I can relate to you all is by fighting. <sighs> All right, then. Huh? If fighting is the only way you can form bonds, then I'll fight you till the cows come home. Just don't drag anyone else into it. It's over. Show me Nazuki. To think he'd take so quickly to the persona passed down from the self born of that plume of dusk. It's been a while since we've had a guest with that much power. 
I presume Sho will be a rather dreadful underclassman for him. I truly look forward to what develops of this. Ah, so that red-haired young man has reached an epiphany. Yes. The many encounters he had here have brought about a change within him. He'll surely have many more experiences and battles on his journey from here on, as a new guest of the room. Elizabeth, will you not return to us? Theo was worried about you. I believe he had been to this place as well. Oh, did he? I hadn't noticed at all. Not even a raindrop's worry. Uh, is that so? Well then, it seems the time has come for me to take my leave. Please tell my incompetent brother this. My journey has just begun. Ah, oh, Elizabeth. I sense that you may become a guest of our room someday yourself. <laughs> You feel show I lost that's the brawn of a guy with bonds huh <laughs> never mind Even my jokes are lame right now come at me whenever you want as often as you want I'll always accept the challenge So what are you gonna do now? I meant it when I said that the others would. Ah, that's enough. I'm tired of all your lecturing. <laughs> I'll kill you for sure one day. You better be ready when I come for you. It seems it's over. And that was a wonderful battle. It even made my heart skip a beat. <laughs> I'll look forward to your rematch with him. I'd be fine if he didn't show up for a while. Is that so? This encounter between you two will one day give way to something irreplaceable. I don't know your desires, but that may be the nature of the power you hold. <laughs> Who knows? By. Now that the red fog is gone, this place will disappear shortly. Shouldn't your friends evacuate more urgently? Margaret, I have a favor to ask you. Oh? What is it? Could you please send all my friends here in the tower somewhere safe? Since you did entertain me somewhat, I suppose I should show my appreciation. Very well. I shall send you all to a safe place. Thank you. May we meet again in the Velvet Room. What's this? Oh, it seems I was a moment too late. To think I missed an opportunity to see two tremendous powers clash. 
Oh, how I wish I could have witnessed it with my own eyes. <sighs> are you satisfied yet? S sister Why are you here? Is there some irregularity with my presence here? N no that wasn't what I meant. So, did you see Elizabeth? I, I wasn't out to find her. But rather, I was scouting the area in search of this cola you wished for. Uh. It, it's true. This is my proof. I did not think that this cola would be hidden in such a sturdy metallic box. Disassembling the box took some time, but I did so without breaking anything. I also inserted all the 10,000 yen bills I had before reassembling it. To think that the people of this world go to such lengths simply just to buy cola. I still have much to learn. It doesn't matter. So, were you able to take a look about this world? Ah, of course, sister. The people I encountered here exhibited much stronger powers than usual by trusting in these bonds between each other. I gather that the reason they display such powers is because they have a wish they desire, along with the ones their bonds connect them to. I see. I'm surprised. You did rather well. Um, I think Elizabeth may have found such a wish as well. She has? What makes you say so? Perhaps it's only my imagination, but I sensed something while pursuing her. I thought Elizabeth might have found something she wants to do for someone besides herself. In other words, a wish of her own. Huh. Uh... Sister? I see. Very well. So, what kind of bonds do you intend on exploring? Well, I believe we should first start by making a toast with this cola. I've heard that it is a sublime ritual performed by the people of this world to further strengthen their bonds. <laughs> I already worry about where you'll end up. Come now, Theo. Let's go back. P please wait for me, sister! Oh, it looks like the place is all ours. Is management gonna be okay with this? Uh, it's usually more crowded. My dad's gonna kill me if he finds out about this. Wait, is this my fault? It's a great day out, and... That's so played out, Yosuke-senpai. Just hurry up and get things started. I'm starving. No, oh, I give up. You do it, partner. Me? <laughs> Else. One, two. Good job, everyone. My, it's hot today. Yuka-chan, aren't you hot in that costume? You could unzip the suit just a little bit. Don't touch that! Are you hot, Teddy? 
I'll open up your zipper for you. Here we go. <laughs> Larry Chan, it doesn't open that way. No! Uh huh? It, it came off. Within can't come out now! Speaking of pretty boys, that definitely applies to Kenkun. He's got like this natural aura around him. I think you're right. He seems like someone you just can't resist looking after. Did someone say my name? Wow, oh, you're right. His skin is clearer than the average girl's, too. Huh? What? My position is pretty boy, aren't you, Ken Ken? I won't let you get away with this! Uh, I knew I should have bought a change of clothes. I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. May as well put on my mask since that actually might help. Wait, huh? Where's my mask? really limits your field of vision. If I wear it during my training, it'll really help for low visibility situations. What kind of situations are those? People will call the police on you if you train in that. Whoa! It looks surprisingly good on you, Master. You look like a comic book hero. It seems they have a good master-disciple relationship going. Wow, you're an engineering student, focus on? I'm hopeless at math, so I really admire girls who are strong in the sciences. It's nothing, really. You can be good at it, too, once you get the hang of it. Yeah. What do engineering students do, anyway? Do you know, Yukiko? Maybe they do experiments. You know, like adding secret ingredients to dishes. So that was an experiment. What kind of guy do you go for, Mitsuru-san? Are you engaged or something? Me? I did have someone like that in the past. But all I can focus on right now are my missions. Oh, you got guts taking a shot at Mitsuru-senpai and all this chaos, kid. He's a tough one, so be prepared. What? You're... <laughs> You're so funny, Junpei-san. I think you might be one of the top two funniest people I know. <laughs> What's this? Is the lovely Rosette actually complimenting... She's not complimenting you at all. So who's the other one? Why are you all looking at me for? Kind of rude, don't you think? Uh, hey, Yukiko-senpai. Can I pet him now, too? He says he wants to stay here a bit longer. Right, Gangaromaru? At least on his actual name. You understood that? That's why there are some cases where one can't help but to take drastic action. I see. Impressive, Naoto-san. You really live up to the Shirogane name. Well, it's a bit of a dirty tactic, but in certain pressing circumstances... Hmm. Impressive. Pressing? Naoto-san, was that a pun just now? It's well over the phoneme threshold. Huh? Uh, of course not. It was just a coincidence. What's the matter, Labrys? Oh, I was just looking out at the town. I didn't get a really good look at it the other day. So I want to take it in as much as I can now. Ah, uh, what do you see? Lots of things. There's tons of people, everyone living their life to the fullest. Hey, Yukon. Thanks for everything. It was you who helped us out this time, Labrys. We're even now. Oh, 
that's not what I meant. I slept for so long that everything's a first for me. Like having a celebration party with so many folks. Huh. Well, are you enjoying it? For sure. Everyone seems like they're having fun, so that makes me happy. And there's something I figured out, too. You guys and all them shadow operatives might not be together all the time. But that don't matter. I agree, but doesn't the same go for us, since we got to meet during Golden Week? You're right. We promised to meet again, and though that was literally just the other day, here I am again. It was tough, but fun, too. That's why I want to thank you. I could say the same to you. I'm sure Shokun will be okay. Mm hmm he might have lived all alone, without anyone to talk to, but we're there for him now. Yeah, Sho's journey is just getting started. We can change as much as we want by learning from other people. You got that right! I'm gonna do my best, too.
This program was brought to you by the following sponsors.